everyone, welcome to episode five ah. of oh. Realm Smiths Into the Mist. This is our Curse of Strahd campaign. We bring to you every Monday night and on the D&D Twitch and on the Realm Smith Twitch. Uh, we're going to go through announcements as quick as humanly possible so that we can get to the craziness that is existing at our table right now. <laughs> Hope you were all <laughs> caught up. Uh, we're going to do a recap in a second Thank just you. to show you guys kind of what's going on. want to thank our title sponsor as always, Siren yeah. for all of their awesomeness. Um, they are an amazing fantasy player that you can get and download for free. There's a bunch of free um, sound sets that you can get as well. We use some of those so uh, sounds in our sessions, and some of those will be there tonight. Uh, Adam, the side of your face is really good looking. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you, can, you can see your nose. <laughs> there you go. Just lean in a little bit. So we want to thank Sirenscape for all of their support, uh, and and we love them, and if we can get the uh, Sirenscape ad up, that'd be awesome, just so people can see what the URL is um, as we kind of go through these. You can go to sirenscape.com as I wait for the image. Uh, thanks to Jeff and Tim, who are producing tonight as I kill time so that they can bring it. Yeah, no, uh, wrong one. That's Nolzer's. Uh, Sirenscape's there. good. Yeah, there we go. Hey. hey! All right, so thanks to our title sponsor, Sirenscape, of course, as always. Uh, they are helping us to be able to do this and we thank them for that mm -hmm. and thank are super you. thankful for all the awesome people over Ivanka. there. So check that out. We love it uh, and it's awesome. Uh, might as well do Nozers next. Uh, Nozers, we just painted uh, the Hill Giant last night. Nozers Marvelous Tutorials is a painting show that we do on the D&D Twitch and on our Twitch and on our Facebook every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 2 p.m. Pacific. I always mess that up. Mm. Um, but uh, I just released the schedule for all of February, which we may actually change up a little bit because we have some things, but that's okay. Um, actually, I'll talk about that next. want to also thank our other sponsors, our product sponsors, the first being Dungeons & Dragons, of course, for having us on their channel yeah. and for supporting us and sponsoring us and all the wonderful things that they do on an ongoing basis. Um, and uh, with kids for a lot of the miniatures that we use and the terrain that we use at the table, we have a bunch of really cool things that we want to uh, show actually today. Some of you for the first time ever, we can get that, we can take the nosers off now, Jeff. Um, we're gonna actually just do a quick product showcase because I just got that stuff fresh off the press on FedEx today. Um, we can kill that nosers, Jeff. Yeah. First thing we have is, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. That is the Descent into Avernus uh, Archon the Cruel and Retinue box, which is stinking awesome. It's amazing, and uh, you guys can't really see it from there. Uh, maybe we can you do the overcam. Closer? I don't know. Let's do the overcam. Uh, yeah, can you? I'll, I'll pass stuff to you. Yes. No, uh, just, uh, whoa. just do. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. People whoa. are gonna have whoa. motion sickness <laughs> just be from. Fine. Be fine. Okay. <laughs> so that is the. Uh, you're gonna have to. Yeah. Uh, just watch the back wall there. Okay. Uh, just do better, Joel. Yeah. <laughs> just, so put it, put the, just put it on the table. <laughs> Why can't you just like that? Perfect. Oh no, but we're. Oh my God. <laughs> just, just do this. Just That's hold it, what just I was hold it like this. Do. Just hold it like that. <laughs> that is. We can kill the. Oh my <laughs> goodness, it's a mess. So we can kill the Jason Azevedo nameplate too. <laughs> Sorry guys. Uh, we're new. Uh, anyways, we can bring up that overcam again. That'd be great. It's my first day. Uh, so this is the Archon the Cruel set. I just want to show you guys this awesomeness. We'll get it. Overcam? Overcam. Overcam. There we go. Finally. Okay. So Ooh. this is the Archon the Cruel uh, set, box set, which is just being released. I think a lot of this stuff is coming out in March. That is the new unpainted Behir, which is unfreaking believable. Wow. Mm. Um, I'd hate to be here when he's there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this is the new young gold dragon, which I have been waiting for personally. One of my favorite creatures in Dungeons and Dragons. We also have the uh, silver. Dragon, and these will be all on March's um, 
schedule i think for nolzers maybe i may even bump a couple things to to march for this month oh, man, and this so is great. the young red dragon which everybody has really been freaking out about uh, and is very excited to see us paint and uh, get their hands on so that is that and then we have two other sets here we can kill that over cam now uh we have two other sets that we're actually probably going to be using in this session some of it anyways they are the uh mighty spell effects if we can get a close-up oh. cam on the dm cam there Yay! just to show these guys yeah, it's awesomeness but anyways <laughs> so they're all <laughs> these spells that you would need in game uh, templates and a bunch of other really awesome fun stuff I'm gonna pass these to Brandon at the end of the table there yeah and he can as quietly as possible unbox oh. uh, the templates but if you can get me the dancing lights from there we're gonna use that as your um, drift globe nice. out of that box there but you can put that behind you and if we need it we can grab it but we can use those tonight so thank you to whiz kids for all that awesomeness yeah. uh, check it out it's like Christmas. all of it I think it's coming in out in March some of it is already released and that should be awesome and great and all of that stuff. <laughs> Whew, we got through that. That was uh, yeah. good. Yeah. All right. Um, we also want to thank Black Magic uh, Design, which is actually we can put that right here instead oh, of yeah. this magical weapon. Um, there we go. Nice. We want to thank Black Magic Design for being another product sponsor. We just got new cameras in the mail from Black Magic, uh, and this camera that you're seeing right now is a new camera yeah. is one of our new ones so you look we're, good we're, Jay. We're, oh, you look so good um <laughs> you don't mean that uh i'm just kidding last week you suck no, yeah kidding. last week not so great right <laughs> we also want to give a shout out to dwarven forge we are using dwarven forge on the table a lot of it tonight um and those guys are awesome i actually painted like 50 to 75 pieces last night uh, in preparation so that the whole board could be dwarven forge so we want to thank them for uh all the love that they show us on a regular basis yeah uh gary Recon is coming up in March, end of March. That is uh, March 26th, 29th, uh, my birthday weekend, which is awesome. We are platinum sponsors. We are doing the finale of this season live at the show uh, with some celebrity guests and a crazy interactive experience that we can't talk about yet. What but we need episode, everyone involved. What episode number will it would be? It would be number 13 Ooh. for Ooh. our finale. So Ooh. we're very excited Ooh. about that. We're also doing Nolzers live from there as well with the young Red Dragon. So you've heard it first. Coming out in March, you'll get your chance to paint it with us. So head to Gary Khan's website. Uh, if you if you are already a, a badge holder, you can sign up for uh, the events and just look into the events and table tabletop events, and you'll find the event. Sign up there; it's twenty bucks. You get the Young Red Dragon, which is that double wide um, mini that we have, and then we're going to walk you through. And a celebrity guest painter will join us, and we'll be announcing that soon. So you've heard it here first. Um, I've already talked about nosers. Uh, already talked about WizKid stuff. That was awesome. Um, what's that? We're DMing some sessions at Gary. Oh, and we're also running live demos of our box in the uh, at, on the show floor in our booth. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing that. Brandon will be doing most of that. Uh, we're very excited to do that again. So if you're interested in our boxes or just want to play some awesome D&D with an incredible DM who wrote mm -hmm. the, uh, and thank you for the follow, uh, mm -hmm. who wrote the uh, modules in our adventures, you can do that at GaryCon as well. Um, our adventure boxes, speaking of which, if you're interested, we ship them every month to your house uh, and and it is an ongoing campaign you get a, a, a box at a time and you can walk your table through it it's everything that you need to run a session if you use the promo code i want adventure at www.realmsmith.tv you can get 20 dollars off your first box so that is super exciting and then something just real uh kind of reflective from this week last week uh here in canada we had something called bell let's talk day uh and uh you guys heard that unfortunately we lost one of our players from our live streams last april uh to mental health uh, and he took his life and so we are playing in his honor and we want to remember that but i got a really touching message this week from one of our viewers who said that they don't have a local um game and uh you know they're struggling with some things and this is their chance to be at a game mm -hmm. and to play D because they feel like they're at the table with us um and it gets them through some really tough times so i just want to say for everyone out there that's why we do this um we do the extra life thing to give back and we play with people around the table because it is cathartic and awesome and so if you're out there if you're hurting talk to somebody um because that's important and um we want to make sure that everyone is loved um, and feels that love. So. And Chibi Peach says, and for the fun, don't forget the fun. And it's friggin' fun. <laughs> yes. Unless you're Joel and, 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 and never mind. Yeah. And, and 
your character dies. Yeah. Uh, level two, uh, which might not happen, but we'll see we'll very see. soon. It's gonna be it's gonna be any any moment now. We're gonna find that out. Um, real quick, those of you that have heard us talk about Extra Life, we have an interactive stream where you can actually donate to Extra Life and buy items for the players in the game that are transported to the players in the game. We actually, I had a I had a set of items that we were supposed to last us the first four levels. You guys reached our thousand dollar goal last episode. So in four episodes, we reached, we raised the thousand dollars for Extra Life for the kids. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but again, but again. If I can get Sirenscape back too, Tim. Um, and uh, I've had to come up with a whole bunch of new items. And so we're going to do it a little different than we did before. I was like ranking up the value of the milestones based on um, how much we raise like continually. Mm -hmm. Instead, this time, we're doing it so that every increment after that uh, is... Um, every increment after that is what that item... Is, uh, the value of that item, and the value of the item is the same in gold as it is in dollars. That was tough to get through. I'm not sure why Sirenscape is on this. We love Sirenscape, but I'm not sure why it's on the street again. <laughs> um, Jeff, I don't know. Maybe Jeff's been drinking back there. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but uh, it's all good. What's that? You just said put Sirenscape on. The music. The, the no, audio. No, I meant the audio. Because I'm. Oh, you meant that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not hearing it. Maybe it's the. I would be behind the thing. No, it's it was up before. Anyways, okay. Uh, all right. So uh, the items today, um, Grigori is gonna walk you through them, um, in the break. But uh, for mm -hmm. now, our new goal is $2,500 for Extra Life. You can donate by going to realmsmith.tv. Under the video window you, is a panel where you can donate there. If you donate, even off, if you're watching this in VOD afterwards, you can donate and still works towards it. That there is a follow. Um, no, no, that's a we, donation. We can, no, we've been getting a bunch of subscribers. Oh, that's Ooh, subscribers. Prime that's subscribers. Awesome. Hello. Okay, cool. That's awesome. So the items, uh, we'll walk through them really quick. You can pop that that uh, interface, and then um, there it is. So at 200 gold, I'm calling it gold, uh, greater healing potion, which they're really going to need really soon. Yes. <laughs> then three, 300 gold later, or $300 later, uh, is a quiver of plus one bolts, which a lot of people at the table have. Uh, crossbows, which would be great. Uh, 200 more than that is a potion of invisibility, which would be very helpful. Um, after that is a necklace of fireballs at 400 go in yes. gold. Yes! It's only two beads. <laughs> so you have two fireballs in there, but it's pretty awesome. And then uh, finally, um, the final one is a scroll of resurrection. And that is 2,500 because at the long, uh, kind of the large gold levels at the full milestone we're doing the full amount of that wow of that thing for an item so anyways you can kill that we'll come back in the announcements uh or in the break sorry and gregory will walk you through them a bit more and we'll have some fun there but if you donate to extra life during our stream on realmsmith.tv on the switch uh, on twitch.tv slash realmsmith you can send these awesome items to people in game and do that that was a lot of announcements. I'm sorry, folks. We had to get through all of the stuff and all of the um, logistical. Let's play the recap. Yeah. The last session. Sterling, you immediately hear another voice in your head. It says, <laughs> Vessel number 586, you have now unlocked level two. Like something comes over me, run into this door, I go to that yeah. uh, coffin, yeah. and then you hear like, tinkle, 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 and then you hear me go, <sighs> I have been waiting to pee since we got <laughs> off the wagon. <laughs> it's a bag made of human skin. Yeah, so I pick it up and I smell it. Hey, What's bro. in there, Callie? All I see, see is okay. it's a sack oh. of human skin. Do we have any idea who it might belong to? I don't care. Hopefully not the person whose sack it was. Exactly. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. I got it. <laughs> you got know it. What I, mean? I got it. No, got it. But would it belong to the owner of the sack or the owner of the <laughs> sack <laughs> material? I, <laughs> Do not know. I prefer not to know. No. Actually, this pale kind of bluish skin, these glowing blue eyes, and one of them raises its head out of the ground. Eldritch blast. <laughs> My crossbow. <laughs> and the bolt goes right through its head, and it goes. <laughs> I want to use my sharp bow. Yeah, yeah. They come out of these holes like on fire. Stop! Um, I'm getting nervous. This is my time, isn't you, it? You take 11 points of slashing damage. Stop 
laughing! Yes. The other one no. is also going to attack you. Another yes. four points of slashing damage. E you take no damage from that. I'm coming! My long sword. You basically cleave its chest cavity in half and falls backwards dead. You take two shots to the next guy. The other one hits it in the neck and it falls dead. You use another Eldritch Blast and blast a hole basically through its torso. Sword it in the face. Not enough. But that is a warning. It turns to Dimitri. And I turn to it. With a natural one, you go to parry it and it bites down on your sword. <laughs> and it starts to kind of hang. I'm just gonna finish the job it started. Basically cleaves off the front half of its face. <laughs> it is still flailing and still on its feet. What? I'm gonna pull out one of my arrows. Yeah. Stab it in the back of the spine. <laughs> and it dies. Are we at level, level three? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? Come here. Who are you? You know who we are. <laughs> yes. You see that same blue bag. Thank you, my friends. There are two items. A potion. Oh. The second one is a drift globe. I want to thank everyone yeah. in yeah. for getting us not only to our third, but to our fourth milestone for our extra life items. I don't trust the ground anymore. I do have a pole that can extend to 10 feet long. You have a 10 foot pole? I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so remember when we had the conversation that I don't need rations or a water skin or a bedroll? So, and you said I can use that money to. Yeah. So I got a 10 foot pole, it's a seven I got caltrops, and I got ball bearings. <laughs> Hold on to the latch, and your hand's stuck. Two eyes open up on the door. I'd like you all to roll initiative. Oh, oh, oh you are. Oh, no, dear. <laughs> you are also currently grappled. I'll just blast it. Okay. Wood that splinters off kind of boils and disappears on the ground when it hits. Oh. I'm going to fire a crossbow bolt. It digs deep into it. The, um, the planks separate into a big maw oh. that basically comes and it clamps down upon you. Dude, Seven points of piercing Perfect. damage. Four Four points of acid damage. Use my daggers. You miss with the first yeah. one, roll the second one. So two points of damage. Stab it in the eye with yeah. the long sword. In a, tie, in a tie hole. <laughs> you try to do that, it closes its eye I and you ah. hit wood. Take that arrow I still have in my hand yeah. and dig again at it. It sticks into its eye, digs and it pops. And then five more eyes go beep, 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 no! the little ones. Beep, 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 around. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> for Eldritch Blast, more uh, wood sprays off it. I'm firing another crossbow bolt. Bits are starting to fall off and goes to bite down on Falfer. What's your armor class again? AC 14. Nine points, piercing damage. Six points of acid damage. Oh, Falfer man. crumbles under its bite and goes limp in its jaw. And that is where we're gonna end this. Oh! That was the best. That look on Mel's face when that happened was that's the horrible. best. It's horrible. Um, and that's where we left off, folks. Uh, currently, Falfer is at the feet of a mimic, a door mimic. Uh, the, the mimic, once he went unconscious, opened its jaws and let Falfer fall to the ground before him. Um, as you guys can see, Callie, you are right beside the mimic. Dimitri, you are as well. Sterling, you're a few feet back. And Roan, you are actually around the corner still. Um, what do you guys do? Um, so, as a reaction, yes. uh, the sentinel feet lets me attack, because he attacked Falfer. Yeah. And I was right next to him. Yes. So I'm just going to attack with okay, my lungs. Do it. Nice. Natural 20. Oh! <laughs> That's the way to start. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. It's all ones from here, boys yes. and girls. <laughs> so you're going to take full damage on the first one, and then you're going to roll this damage on the second one. OK. Only mods once. Or mods. No, both, both. Mods on both, but oh. it'll be full full damage on the die. Uh, we learned this from Deborah and Wall, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Deborah and Wall did this, okay. so. I think. Isn't it? Pretty sure. You said dun Dungeon Dudes. Oh, maybe it was Dungeons. I don't know. Anyways, one of those wonderful people. So roll the 1d8. So that'll be the second one. So the first one's 8 oh. plus 7 plus your double... Double mod? Yeah, yeah, because... It's, wow! Okay, right? then... No, no, okay. No, it's one. It's full, plus one. The full, the full damage yeah. that you could possibly roll, yeah. and then you just roll your damage yeah. die again and, and add then, that and then add, without then, the bonus. Yeah. Okay, single mods. Yeah, single mods, yeah. Okay, then it's gonna be... Uh, 21. 21 points of damage. Uh, yeah. Is it dead? 21 points of dead, it dies. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want to kill this... 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 Uh, Mimic okay. that is looming over. So while he's uh, <laughs> opening its maw to let Falfer fall to the ground, 
I'm just gonna do a 360 spin move. Yes. And then, while facing the opposite direction, yeah. stab backwards yeah. into the <laughs> eye that I missed originally. Yeah. Oh, you got that eye. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. That's and great. that's how we do it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Amazing. Uh, the uh, mimic uh, basically turns into mush and blah, 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 all along the ground, and it is now dead. And you guys are out of initiative, which we didn't have the initiative lights on, but it's okay. <laughs> we don't need uh, You guys are now standing in the same awesome. chamber that you were before. Uh, what do you guys do? Um, I would like to. Is there a door behind this door? <laughs> uh, so this is now just a passage, so the door oh, okay. actually did not exist. This is just a passage there. Uh, and you have a passage from whence you came, and there is also a passage leading the other way as well. I I'm, would first. I'm, I'm just gonna lay there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kneel down to Falfer and say, Falfer, hold on! And pressing both my hands, why am I even rolling? <laughs> pressing both my hands, I'm gonna uh, use all 10 of my lay on hands hit points. Okay. On Falfer. Oh, he must yeah. like you. <laughs> Saved from going to death saves, all of a sudden. Oh. <laughs> Alpha takes some deep breath, <laughs> 10 hit points. The wounds you start to feel will take some time to close up, but they start to close up. Awesome. I wake up with an arrow in my hand going, uh, uh, <laughs> It's all right, it's all right. Uh, uh, the, uh, the creature's gone. Uh, 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 and you are now up. I'm just going to take that and pull the arrow out of your hand. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank you, my friend. Uh, I, uh, I, was pro- I, was, I was taking a nap. <laughs> I was so tired. He was, uh, but then I, I, uh, you saw, I was like a strategy. I, mm. I went down on my ground and then laid down quietly once it bit me. And then while it was quiet, I let you attack it. And then you killed it. And then we won together. <laughs> and then you healed me from almost dying. Teamwork. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. That is an odd strategy. Yes, I, I like don't, we shouldn't use it again. That was a one-time thing. <laughs> I smell bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you guys do? Um, Does anybody know what that was? Uh, Nature check for anybody who wants to try and find yeah, it. I'll do it. As far as I know, it was a door with anger issues. So that is a uh, natural one. You, have, you you still think it might have been a door. Uh, you were so far kind of out, 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 open. You saw blood. You saw a flurry of movement. You're like, what the hell? Uh, there was a door there. There's not a door there anymore. Why aren't we moving forward? I'm going to run into the room then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fair enough. Gentlemen, what happened? Yeah. Where's the door? It oh. attacked Felfer. Don't be ridiculous. It's a door. Well, Falfer fell down and went to sleep and everything. He thought it was a door for us. <laughs> Sounds like strategy to me. Well, he shouldn't have made himself taste like butter. That's why it bit you. <laughs> it's true. You look and taste delicious right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, except that, you know, it runs in the family. <laughs> Looking and tasting delicious. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, seriously, is that me? It uh, was very, very... Uh, it was very scary in the dark, you know, for a while. Have you stood up yet? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, but you cannot tell because <laughs> I'm so small. <laughs> um, yes, so I really do appreciate you uh, saving me. I, I do uh, probably need to learn my lesson about uh, not, <laughs> not attacking. Uh, Things that I don't know are killing doors. It's true. I mean, that whole thing with the arrow and the stabbing. You, you know what arrows are meant for. I've seen you use them. True, I should probably do it from the back <laughs> instead of the front. <laughs> All right, fine. I would be far away from that one. I mean, still with you, but far away in my heart. <laughs> All right, uh, what do you guys do? Um, you are currently, like I said, in a small chamber. There's a, a chandelier and a, and a table which has moved in the, in the shuffle. I, when um, I look down at what do I see? When you look down this way? Yeah. Oh, what do you see? Let's find out. It's kind of difficult to kind of show without showing, but basically you see a chamber that looks like a bedchamber of yeah. sorts. Uh, there, there. You see the edge of a footlocker and a crate um, and a dark 
It's a darkened. Oops. It's a darkened uh, um, chamber. And what about in that direction? Can I see from where I am? There? Yeah, you can basically just see that it comes around a corner. Okay. Well, yeah, it looks that. like there's a chamber heading that way. Perhaps we should take a look. Hmm. Maybe. Um, I just want to look around a little in this room. Can I inspect uh, the candlesticks that are around and just to yeah, sure. See Give anything? me an investigation check. What are you looking for specifically? Um. Uh, I guess just if there's anything unusual that stands about out about them, because these are the first giant candle things that we've seen. Yeah, yeah, sure. Natural one. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> I was right. Uh, all ones from here. <laughs> what have you done? I don't know yet. <laughs> They're twenty big metal ones. objects that hold candles. Hmm. hmm. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> all right. Perhaps this way, and I point to uh, the direction of that room I see. Can't really see that way. Uh, let's try to get some light that direction. So there is a light here. Again, this is uh, 20 feet bright, yeah. 20 feet dim. So you'll okay. see basically almost to the opening. You see that it opens into, an, into a room, and that's all you see. Roan, how far can you see? <laughs> well, I can see into the room, obviously. I, I, as far as you can, of course. I cannot see that far. I cannot see that far either. Well, you have very poor eyesight, I'm sure. Shall we continue on? Uh, I'll uh, use my shield and push the drift globe uh, forward towards the hallway. Okay. Um, I'll get my extendable 10-foot pole. <laughs> I, I had to say it again because yeah. people commented extendable. last time. I did say it the first time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, it's it's like, you know, uh, I'm going to say it's kind of like one of the, the sticks that, that blind people it, that screws yeah, together. It screws pieces. together and it comes in like two foot increments and you had it in your yeah. strapped to your bag. Uh, yeah, that's that's exactly how it works. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> um, I'm going to get that because Falfer, you had the, the pole, right? <laughs> and I'm going to use that to kind of like smack around against the, the walls and the floor and just make sure that there aren't any traps ahead. Okay. Moving relatively slowly, I'd say like half speed at the most. Okay, uh, give, give me an um, investigation check as you move. Oh gosh. Mm. I'll go right behind you just mm. to follow, of course. Come on, new dice. <sighs> Twelve. Twelve. Uh, okay. As you go, it seems like you're fine. Okay. Um, how far do you want to go? Uh, well, uh, I guess right up to the edge of the room. Okay. Yeah, I'll follow behind as well. Okay. Yeah. This is the marching order. If, if you guys can file in, in the, as we all know, marching order matters. Uh, I will. <laughs> I will be at the back. Are you coming? Yep. Yeah. Okay. A wise choice. Come, Falfar. Accompany me. <laughs> Dude, there's uh, a torch uh, on the wall in there. Is that lit or no? No. So I, I have added uh, the torch sconces. Anywhere there's a torch on the wall, it presents <coughs> a sconce that a torch... Uh, there so are torches in the sconces that can be lit. Okay. Mm. Oh. So if you head over there, you can actually... This room contains a large framed bed with a rotted feather mattress, a wardrobe, a pair of iron candlesticks, which these ones are now over here. Ooh. Well, hello. Um, and an open crate, and the crate is sits open like this. At the foot of the bed seems to be a wooden footlocker without a lock on it. Mm. What do you guys do? Yeah, I'll walk inside. You're gonna go past me? You go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. I, I don't see any danger, do I? Uh, give me a perception check. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. There's nothing dangerous down here. Uh, that's <laughs> thirteen. Okay. <clears throat> Um, with a 13, it seems safe. It seems as safe as the rest of the dungeon has yeah. so far. It looks like everything's fine in here. I push back everyone to push past everyone to walk into there. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, Shall we? I would like to just make sure he doesn't fall into any pits of spikes first. Oh, are you all right over there? Seems fine. Okay, let's follow. Um, I'd like to... What did you roll with your perception? 13. Okay. Uh, now that I'm inside, I'd like to take a better look around. Uh, maybe investigate the room again a little, see if there's anything of value, anything that I would take note okay. of. What do you want to start with, and, and what are you looking for? Things of value specifically? Yeah, things of value specifically. Okay. Anything that might be useful to us. Okay, so um, you have three options. There's a wardrobe, there's a footlocker, and then there's that open crate. You know what? I'm going to try the wardrobe. 
I'm gonna go to the wardrobe and it, is, does it look locked or? It closed. There's no lock. Okay, on I'm, it. I'm gonna I'm gonna open it. Okay, so you head over to the <laughs> yeah. wardrobe. You find Narnia and you open <laughs> Mr. the wardrobe. Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> um, you open the wardrobe and uh, within the wardrobe has several old robes, dusty black robes, Ooh. hanging in it. Um, can I look through the robes, see if there's anything in the pockets, anything that... Uh, uh, there's no pockets, really. They're just uh, nondescript black, pitch black robes with hoods. Huh. You, the same actual robes that you guys saw in the closet upstairs. How the many are there? Uh, two. Two. Hmm. Okay. Nothing in here, just more black robes. Black robes? <laughs> well, if this doesn't scream cult, I don't know what does. <laughs> well, we heard chanting on the way. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some sort of weird religious thing happening. More importantly, why is it that we are here? Mm. In consideration. I would say... It all seems like a trap now. Peer pressure from ghost children, mostly. Right. Yeah. They seemed very desperate at first, and then it seemed like they just tried to control our minds. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure they did not just try. <laughs> they actually did. Um, you, you hear Felfer's voice from down the hall. <laughs> yeah. From way back. Um, <laughs> if anyone else want to... What, um, look at the robes? Or? Well, I, 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 turned to, I turned to Callie uh, and go... Hog. You know, I have not really spoken to you much since the wagon, and I wanted to tell you um, I do not understand why uh, you are s your skin is so perfect. Look at mine. <laughs> I'm like a little child, but I'm like an old man. But so <laughs> tell me about yourself a little bit when, when we have a chance, because, of course, you know, there are other things to do, but... <sighs> Uh, you seem so strange. Are you human? No, but you're Asimar. <laughs> Are you trying to date me? No, I am. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> we would we would never get along. <laughs> you would have to pick me up. Wait, <laughs> am I trying to pick you up or are you trying to pick me up? It doesn't matter. It would be wrong. Um, <laughs> Can we hear this? <laughs> Well, it's, you it's guys are in another room all together. Talking. We're way back talking there. Quietly? Yeah, we're, I'm talking to He's well, talking in I'm his normal Belfer voice. Yeah, I'm trying to That's figure right. out. You hear some whispers through the hallway. If you want to roll a perception check to find out. I said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah, I want to know. <laughs> 13 again. 10. Are you trying to be quiet? Oh, I'm just, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as soon as she says, are you trying to date me? I let out like a... <laughs> <laughs> to which, uh, if I hear his laugh, I go, <laughs> yes, good one. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. I'm confused because when we first met, you led me to believe that you were seven years old and had a beard. <gasps> and That's you just true. said that I'm like a child, but I'm like an old man, so now I'm confused. Okay. All right, so I'm looking confused. You've lied But I, you child. don't see that, I guess, because there's people in front of you. <laughs> okay. Check something. Um, <laughs> while that's all going on, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna push forward. Yeah. So this Foot Locker does not have a lock on it. Okay. Yep. Um, so this is not gonna take half hour to open. No, probably not. <laughs> not like the last session. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna just carefully try to open it. Okay. Um, how would you like to carefully open it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh gosh. Very gingerly. <laughs> you're just gonna. Uh, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> just play with it. That's, that's... Okay, give me a perception check. <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> uh, nine. Um, you... There's a foul, a slight foul smell in here. That's all. You don't know what... Maybe garbage. You're not sure exactly what that is. Hmm. As you open the footlocker, um, you see what appears to be a... A folded piece of material of some sort, maybe a cloak. You think you maybe see a hood. Uh, you see a, a small wooden coffer, um, a chain mail, what appears to be chain mail, um, and a couple other things that are deeper in this footlocker. Hmm. But all of a sudden, your back is turned to this wall here. Yeah. Sterling, you see 
uh, what appears to be fingers start to push through this back wall. And there's thin, slender skin that is pulled tight around hands, and you see one finger start, one hand coming through, and then another one, and the, and the dirt starts to crumble away. And then you also quickly, and Dimitri, you hear this, you see the same thing happening over here. Yeah. I'd like you all to roll initiative, please. Oh! Okay. Like over... Oh, okay. Out yeah, out of that wall, too. Another barrel. <laughs> nice to be in the back now, isn't it? Yes. 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 <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, uh, my hi fi oh. <laughs> system for keeping uh, initiative here. No, that's fast. Um, what's that? Super fast. Yeah, so 20 to 25. Nobody? Okay. Uh, 15 to 20. 16. 17. 16 and 17. This is going to be much quicker than writing it down. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 to 15. Uh, 11. Oh, 12. 11, 12. And Dimitri, your last? Nine. With a nine. All right. Um, you see this one creature burst forth. Yeah. Dimitri doesn't see it. And it lunges at Dimitri <gasps> with claws extended. Um, and what you see is a more or less a humanoid, but with mottled, decaying flesh drawn tight across clearly visible bones. It is mostly hairless, has a carnivorous teeth, sharp teeth and jagged claws. Its eyes burn like hot coals in their sunken sockets. They seem to be wearing the remnants of tattered black robes. This one bursts forward towards Dimitri. This one bursts out of the wall here mm -hmm. towards Dimitri. They look somewhat <laughs> like the creatures that you um, faced before. Yeah. But with seemingly a bit more intelligence. Um, this one is going to attack Dimitri. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> oh, you will. Dimitri, look out. <laughs> You'll get to see him try. <laughs> Behind <laughs> you and yeah, also to your him. right. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this. That's what they look like. <laughs> you can pop the, the image of the, of the monster as well, Jeff, for everyone at home. Um... Does a 23 hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Questions? Uh, no you, don't, you, you don't have luck points, do you? No, no one does. <laughs> you, take, you take 10 points oh. of slashing damage. Oh. As you didn't see it coming, it's the other one, actually. It's not that image, it's the other one. Uh, as they, these claws slash down your back with both hands with these massive uh, razor sharp claws I'd like you to make a constitution saving throw please nine oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, wet, it's bad when he goes oh <laughs> yeah you uh, are now paralyzed as oh. you feel your body start to stiffen um, Why am I in the uncontrollably room? Why am I in the room? One second, I am going to give you I'm these. Always so cautious. You're just really excited about the robes. Yeah, I, 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 I thought you guys said at the beginning of this session that you guys were going to be more careful. <laughs> well, we went in three places. I have a ten foot pole. <laughs> there All is the your back. your current <laughs> state, and you guys see Dimitri freeze up. At, at, it, it breaks down Do his we back, see? and he goes ah, in pain, and then he just stops, <laughs> and he's still oh, in in stasis. Do I fall over, or just I'm still? You're still. You're just. You can't move. Your eyes are moving, and you see the pain searing in his eyes, but he cannot. Act Actually react. So he's like a statue? This one is going to come over. <gasps> there's another one? Oh, yeah, there's two of them, I said. Uh, and he is going to also... Now, what does Paralyzed uh, do for you? Attack rolls against this creature have advantage. Oh, good. What's your armor class again? 18. You are so lucky. Oh. <gasps> you are so lucky. As this one comes at you and it... And it, uh, as you kind of stiffen up, it goes to bite at you, and you feel it grab onto your armor, and it clenches down, but it does not breach your armor currently. <laughs> uh, and you do not take any more damage at the moment. Uh, Falford, it's your turn. Okay. I will uh, do this. I'll pull out my two crossbows. crossbows yes. And 
I'll I'll go up to kind of like just behind Sterling's leg. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is 20 feet. Yeah. And then I will attack this guy. Okay. You were gonna shoot your both of them. them. All right. To make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Uh, that is a 22. That is a hit. The first and one's a hit. First one, yeah. So and nice. then a natural 20. Oh. <laughs> Na- what? The next one's natural, natural 20? 20. Nice, very nice. Okay. Um, so the fir- uh, roll the damage for the first hit. All right. And then do your damage for the second hit. Uh, Sterling, you're on deck. Okay. Okay, 1d6. There it is. Uh, sorry. Four. Okay, four points of damage on the first one. Yeah, and then uh, eight. So 12 all told. Uh, you, right? Yeah, but you get also plus six because oh, of the, the right. crit. Oh, right. So that's... Uh, 18? 18, yeah. 18 points of damage? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, your bolts dig deep into it and it's... <laughs> as it looks over at you and there's an... Like I said, an intelligence in the eyes of this one that you did not see in the previous one. Um, Sterling, you're up. Cal, you're on deck. All right. Um, what kind of an action would it take for me to pull Dimitri out of the way? Would that be a full action or bonus action? I would say that's a full action. Full action. All right. Well, I'm uh, I'm just gonna get all mean about it. So I'm I'm throwing down <laughs> the ten foot pole, grabbing my sword, and I'm gonna slash at the one that's that's closest to me. Uh, make your attack. All right. Crit. Ooh. Oh, natural 20? Yeah. yeah. Come on now. Right there on the oh, giant no. die wow. and everything. D&D, y'all. D&D. Yeah. It's a realm smith symbol. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Woo. Ow. Oh, it feels good to finally hit something with my sword. Yes. Good. This is the first so, time. So roll your damage. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, immediately that's max damage and then an added die. So that's 10 plus. So that's 13 points of damage. Okay. Uh, with 13 points of damage. Awesome. Um, so you slash down with your with your sword, yeah. and you cleave deep into its shoulder, and it yeah. digs in. You feel a crunch bone that used to be solid bone, but now is starting to decay. Uh, and as you do that, you smell this stench. Yeah. And you guys have all hit you. The adrenaline kind of got you through it, but... The stench is horrific that is emanating from these creatures that have just come into this room mm, uh, and yeah. broken through the wall. It is still standing, but okay. it's not doing well. I don't want to... It's bleeding, and black ichor is dripping all down its chest. I don't want to stay right beside it, Okay. so I want to move back a little bit. Okay, you're going to get um, an attack of opportunity if you do that? Uh, oh, right, that's true. Okay. I'm going to weather the storm. Okay, weather the all storm. Right. You bring up your, your shield to bear, and you're you're prepping for... Uh, okay, Callie, you're up. Yeah, yeah. giving uh, it my Venus robot deck. face. Yeah, so I'm like... I'm, I say to myself, I should have went to that frickin' ale house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. why, why? Yeah. Why did I do this? Yeah. I could have been drunk by now. Are you saying this under your breath? Yeah. I'm close to you? Yeah, yeah. 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 I hear you. <laughs> yeah, we should have went to the ale. Let's go after. Um, okay, so I'm going to. Um, I want to use my dagger. My sorry, my short bow. Yeah. To um, hit. hit hit it. Okay. You can also add your sneak attack damage. Yeah. So that, that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm curious. Are that, you going to get any I closer? Are you going to stay where you are? Yep. Because there is uh, allies within five feet. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So. Um, oh, sorry. 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 Okay. Am I going to get closer? Uh, how do I know how far my my short bow goes? It, 80? It, that's enough. That's okay. Yeah. Then I don't know. I don't want to okay. go closer. Then okay. I'm good. You want to see where you were? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, your short bow. Yeah. Oh, four, and then I add it to hit. Do yeah. I add that hit? Yeah. Nine. Unfortunately, Sterling's in the way. Dimitri's right okay. there. Uh, uh, Roan is really close, yeah. so your arrow unfortunately hits the pillar because you're trying to be careful not to hit your comrades. And yeah. It's, it's probably just um, at my height, so I go. <laughs> Roan, you're up. Dimitri. You're on deck, but uh, Roan, I would like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Sure. Uh, (laughs) 
That's my second nat one in a row. Oh. So all of a sudden, this stench is unbearable. You start to retch all over the ground in front of you. You are currently poisoned. Oh. Do I? Um, am I still able to take my turn? Uh, yes, but you are oh, you are poisoned. Okay. So so whatever. It's on the back of this card too. Oh, there you go. Being, so there being, go. Share. being where I am, do I see yeah. him retching? Yes. I start retching. As I smell that, and I, yeah. I whip around to yeah. see the uh, whatever those creatures are, yeah. I start, oh and, my and God. I'm going to uh, spin around, and I'm going to use uh, magic missiles okay. on uh, on that one. Okay. Uh, oh, God. Uh, what's yeah. your, uh, what's, what, what does poison do for you? Uh, it uh, gives me disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Okay, so you're going to have to roll this at disadvantage, please. Uh, so magic missiles is an auto. Oh, it's an auto hit. That's right. So yep. I'll roll my damage. Yeah. So Roan extends his hand and and four, Five. four missiles. Three, three uh, yeah. darts of energy shoot out and surge towards this creature. Mm -hmm. So the first missile does five damage. Yeah. The second one does two damage. Yeah. Seven, and the next one does two damage. Nine damage total okay. force. So the first one hits it and explodes half of its head, mm -hmm. and, and black ichor sprays all across the back of the uh. wall. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other two just <laughs> into it <laughs> again, and it <laughs> crumbles to the ground. Okay. okay. <sighs> and then I'd like to use my movement to as, to start <laughs> yeah. start running out of the room. How far? Uh, to over here, or near Cali. <laughs> it smells disgusting. Okay. Uh, um, Dimitri, you get to make another uh, Constitution saving throw, please, to try and um... Un unparalyze. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dimitri. Eleven. Uh, sorry, I, you, you do it at the end of each of your turns, so we'll keep that to the end. Okay. Um, so you but you are still turn. paralyzed. You can't do anything. At the end of your turn, you start to feel kind of a numbness come back in your fingers, and now you can you can move again. Okay. Okay. But my turn. That's the end of my turn, right? But that's the end of your turn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cal, uh, Dimitri. Oh, sorry. It is its turn. Uh, it is going to turn and notice that Dimitri is starting to come back again, and is going to attack Dimitri again. Oh, man. It can try. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to be enough. It comes around, and you feel your your the, the feeling in your hand comes back just in enough time for as it comes across with its claws, you parry its arm away. Uh, oh. Falfer, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. I'm going to cast Zephyr Strike, Okay. Um, and uh, it takes a bonus action. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, run into its uh, right up to its back, or this this guy whoop, right okay. behind him. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five is your movement. Uh, You're gonna have to go over here. I can do double. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So you move like the wind until the spend ends your movement. It doesn't provoke any opportunity attacks. Okay. Okay. So your walking speed increases by thirty feet. So I now have fifty-five feet. Oh wow. Um. So, okay, with, so you all of a sudden five goes. Whoosh, whoosh, through everybody Whoa. really super quickly. Uh, gets there. Yeah. Make your attack. And then I'm going to short range grab. Uh, oh, I already shot two bows. Yeah, and you haven't loaded them. Ah! I'm going to. Uh, you can reload one with a bonus action. I'll allow. I'll reload one with a bonus action. Okay. And and point it at. Oh, you already used your bonus action. Yeah, I did with my yeah. Zephyr strike. I can't even. Okay, so I'll I'll run in there. Yeah. Recognize. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah. And run back out. <laughs> 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 Just the smell. <laughs> and he runs back up. That's amazing. Stir, uh, is there anything? No, you can't do anything. I can't do anything. Sterling, you're up. Kelly, you're on deck. So what did you do? Okay, and then I go over and I'm gonna take another slash at it. Okay, you're gonna step over the one that's already there. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Just drop it. Pretty sure there's 10 is not a hit. 10 is not a hit. All right. Um, you I come across and it sidesteps your sword as you as you narrowly miss it. Cali, you're up. Roan, you're on deck. Okay, so I have an idea. Yeah. Um, can I can I uh, I can run fast? Can I run fast to the cupboard that has the cloaks? Yeah. I want to grab a cloak. Yeah. And I want to throw it over the bad guy. Okay. Oh so you, wow. You're gonna go grab it. You're trying to blind it with one yeah. of the cloaks. Okay. Yeah. So you run over. That is. Uh, let's see. That's. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. Um, which is there. What's your movement? 30. Okay, so 20 is that. Okay. Um, but then I can have, I have like a, 
I can move fast. I'm right. a, so I'm a you, dash. You can dash as a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah. So but, I'd say. Yeah, I don't know if I want to use that. But I would say that. that when you're attacking with an improvised robe, yeah. that is your action, so you wouldn't be able to dash. No, I but can I'm use allow action in combat. Kind of action. I, but oh, I have yeah, use yeah, an yeah, object. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can, so you can, you can cutting action. Yeah. yeah. I would say you'd have to attack it with the robe in order to, because it, because it. Can yeah. Evade sure. It. Okay. So, so you can use your cunning action to dash. So you can dash again. Yeah, but will I have enough to then go back? No, but I will allow because it's about twenty feet to here. Yep. Another ten feet puts you beside it. Okay. You're sharing Dimitri's space more or less. Okay. Uh, I'm going to allow you to attack it, and then you can use your disengage to get out of it. I love life. Okay, so roll your attack okay. with an improvise so you do not get your uh, proficiency modifier on I don't know what all that means, but 19 and this is a good number! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do I add? What do I add? What do I add? Good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. You're good. All of a sudden, you throw this robe yes. over, over its head. Yes. And it starts to kind of like. Yes, it does. Try to get this robe off. Yep. Um, are you just let just dripping it over its head? I need uh, somebody to like shoot it or something <laughs> while it's <laughs> while it's not being able to see. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So now it, it is currently blinded at the moment I'm gonna by cry. a robe. Yeah. <laughs> and then you take off. How far back do you go? As far back as I can go. Five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Back to, oh, yes, yes. that's on phone. Now, please, <laughs> okay. Ouch. Okay. somebody do something. So it something. currently has a robe draped over it. Uh, Rowan, you're up. Okay, uh, so I'm going to turn around again, and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna cast an Eldritch Blast on okay. it. So a hellish flame, you know, covered in shadows, yeah. pops out. I'm going to blast it. You would it. typically have disadvantage on that because it is an attack, but because it's now blinded, you have advantage. Oh, so it, does it yes. cancel out then? It cancels out. Okay, so, so regular just attack. Yeah, uh, that's uh, 23. 23 Whoa. is absolutely a hit. Yes. And it will do seven force damage. Seven. Oh. Very nice. Um, this Eldritch Blast, is it It's force damage? Okay. It's force damage. So it hits the the creature, and it, it wasn't expecting it, and it stumbles it a bit, and it stumbles back against the wall. It's already kind of a, back there, but the, the force of it hits him against the back wall, and he's kind of still stumbling with this robe <laughs> over his head. Stumbling backwards, can I opportunity attack it? Uh, well, it, it is where it was. So okay. it was already in that space. I'm just saying that it was kind of against the wall because it had just come out, so it just hits the wall kind of where it's standing. Um, and you're right beside it there. So you are, uh, Dimitri, you're up. All right. Um, I'm just gonna swing with my sword. Are you sure should? And it's gonna be a 19. 19 is a hit. Okay. Come on, Dimitri. Advantage, actually. You can roll it again to see if you get a natural 20 on it. Okay. It's underneath. <laughs> <laughs> it's underneath <here>. uh, <laughs> okay, so now it's a 22. Okay, so. All right. It's a hit. And. Is um eight eight points of damage? Yeah. All right. Uh, you slash across its chest, and it opens up, and again, this ichor starts to spray out. But it has the robe on. It. What's that? It has the hood on, robe on. Yeah. So it's not spraying. It's getting stuck yeah, in the it's just, Yeah, but that's it's just for a show. <laughs> that's oh. Just for flavor. I thought it was gonna like yeah, no. take down the stench a bit yeah, too. Not really. Oh. As I come uh, down with the sword, okay. I'm just gonna say, "Good thinking, Callie." Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> I would like you, though, to make a uh, constitution saving throw, which I, I didn't allow you to make you do at the beginning of your turn, which I should have. Natural 20. With a natural 20, uh, you start to feel your stomach turn because of the smell, um, but just the adrenaline and the moment you get past it, <laughs> you swallow, swallow it, it. <laughs> and you are now immune to it for the rest of the Ooh. Oh, yes. Yes. Nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was yeah, Dimitri. Right. Yes, it is. So he is going to come back again at you, and he is going to try and claw you again. Robe of guy? Yes. Robe so first guy of all, he takes, the, he takes the robe off oh, as a free action. Okay, well. And then he attacks. Fine. <laughs> uh, Works for a bit. <laughs> uh, that Give is enough. That's right. Uh, what is your uh, armor cost again? 18. That is enough. Uh, it is going to attack with its claws. You stand. <laughs> That's 12 points of damage. Um, That's the rest of my HP. And Dimitri goes down. Oh, oh, no. As he crumbles in front of this creature. Um, <laughs> but who's going to lay on hands on you? <laughs> um, Fall for up. up. Yep. So I will... <laughs> Sterling, you're on deck. Um, oh. I will... Zephyr's strike. 
um, into where Dimitri is. Okay. And can I do this as a... I have one left. <laughs> you're you're going to use two? I, well, I was going to use... No. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to Zephyr Strike in, and I'm going to attack that guy um, with... Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna load is one. Is it a concentration spell? Uh, it is up to one minute concentration. Have beside it. Does that have a yeah. beside it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to take an action, yeah. load one of my bolts. Yeah. Zephyr Strike. Yeah. Move into behind him. Yeah. And then attack him from behind. Can I not do that? You said take an action, load it, and use Zephyr Strike. No, no. Your bonus, bonus action. action. Bonus action is loading. Um, I allow him to, to load one with a bonus action. So, yeah, you're so gonna are you Zephyr Strifing with your bonus action too? N- no. Because um, it's a concentration, concentration spell. Yeah. So you're not casting oh. it again. You still have no, he Zephyr still Oh, he and still has it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, so you're going to move in? Yeah. Um, why don't you just shoot from where you are? Just a little DM tip. You don't have to Zephyr Strike in to do that. You have a ranged weapon. Right. Um... Okay, but that kind of takes away what was cool that I was going to do. But that's okay. okay. Let me no, cool. no, dude, dude, be cool. Be cool. I'm just... He's so I'm, cool. cool. Okay, so you want to get <laughs> in cool. here. I want to get in there. Okay. And then I want to take... Be cool. I want to yeah. be behind him yeah. and take my bolt and basically put it on his spine. Oh. Okay, so you want to get behind him. Get behind him. Place it put onto... Put onto this put thing's yeah. spine yeah. and just pull and, and launch. Okay. Um, for flavor, I like it. Yeah. Um, and then. Uh, Although, isn't it. Don't you get disadvantage at a, at a short range? I, yep. The range weapon? You get disadvantage on that. Really, yeah. eh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, below its shortest range, you would get disadvantage on it. Okay. Um, okay, so that's a 16 on that one, and an 11. So that would be plus. Still do it, maybe. That's enough. Actions here. Yeah, plus seven. Yeah, that's enough. So that's an 18. Okay, so you shove the the, the crossbow uh, close to its back and you pull the trigger. Yeah. How much damage do you do? Uh, So it does the attack of the the thing. So it's 1d6 plus three. Plus, uh, so that's four, plus the 1d8 of damage in addition because of Zephyr Strike. So that is four plus one. That's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. Does that count as a called shot at the spine? No, uh, that's fine. Okay. Um, so, sorry, nine points? Yeah. Okay. And then I okay. back out. Uh, and this, it goes deep into its back, and you actually see part of the, the bolt sticking out the front of its of its chest, and you run back, and it's starting to look pretty bad at this point. Sterling, you're up. Um, you are uh, thankfully not right beside it, uh, so you are not going to make a constitution saving throw, but what would you like to do? Uh, uh, well, I, I just want to hit it with my swords. Okay. Because it's a real jerk. Yeah. I don't mm. like it. He's real sure mean. <laughs> Twelve. Not enough. Okay. Um, again, Can I look you come with it sword. Yeah, sure you do. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it side, sidesteps your, your attack again. Um, Stop moving. Callie, you're up. Ron, you're on deck. Yeah, so I want, I have a rope. I want to, uh, yeah, I want to. Uh, I like, I like you, the creativity. I, I like. want to take my rope and I want to put, get it on his legs or body or whatever. Sure. Uh, and then I want to try to pull him, but I, I'm not super strong, so I might need somebody's help. That's cool. If that's, I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, wow. Okay, so. Um, pull Dimitri out. I, I like it. I like how you're trying to pull. Now, you could just walk up to him and drag him out. I don't know if I want to get walk. super close. Okay, so you're going to try the rope. Okay, it so smells yeah. awful. Yeah, okay, so and you, I. So no. you're actually action would be to tie, allow you to tie some sort of noose or something okay and then throw it I'd like you to make a sure. sleight of hand check to see how well you tie this yep. noose got it and okay. then I'm gonna have you make an attack okay uh, oh yeah with an improvised weapon <laughs> okay <laughs> so, 21 okay with 21, 21. <laughs> you think you, you, this is the best noose you've ever tied I know that ever yeah you now toss it to hit in his direction I'd like you make an attack in order to That's, do that okay uh, uh, it's, a, it's an improvised weapon so you don't get your proficiency bonus on it okay I don't, okay so I just this number yep. You're that's all work today. okay 16 um and 16's enough I know it is so uh so I have a good feeling about you, this uh, he's kind of like like a de- done yeah um you 
kind of catch the top of his of his shoulder yep. um, uh, armor. Yeah. And you have a nice tight thing on it. Okay. Uh, I would say though at this point you're not able to pull him yet. Okay. Because you've now spent your actions to do so. Sure. Um, but uh, somebody else. Who's can help after me? Okay. okay. And you can uh, shout to somebody before you your turn. Yeah. So you can oh, talk. Can talk I? Is a free action. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So okay. You can yell, so you yell at somebody to help. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Roan, I need help. He's next, okay. right? Yeah. Roan. Roan's up. I need help. What? Can you help me pull? What? You see that there is a rope now c connected to Dimitri, and she is, uh, yeah. What do you do? We need to pull I'm not up. exactly the best. Uh, whatever. I'll run okay. up and I'll okay. help her with it. Athletics I'll check. grab the uh, rope and, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, Come on. Uh, so that's a minus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we go. And that is a four. <laughs> <laughs> and he then moves to turn. Okay. <laughs> he is okay. heavy. He is, he is in chain mail. <laughs> and then I'm going to hold it. Yeah. Yeah. This is a terrible idea. I'm going to throw it down and run a little bit further back. <laughs> okay, how far back do you want to go? Uh, oh. Oh, I, you're all the way Oh, back. I was, oh, yeah, I'll stay yeah. there. So, Sorry, so you, I, you, I you stepped up, that. you stepped up to kind of help her, I'd say there. Uh, so you're going to stay there, and then what do you, that is your action. Yeah. Uh, do you want to move it all or anything like that? Uh, no, I'll, I'll stick with that. Okay, Dimitri, you're up. I, made uh, I had to help you. I know, I made but I didn't you do want it. To. <laughs> Death saving throw. Death <laughs> There it is. Oh. Do it right here so we can see it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First death saving throw. I need a sterling. Okay. That is a failure. You have failed your first death save. All right. And thus you will be punished! <laughs> okay. Uh, they are up. It oh, jumps man. forward at you, Sterling, yeah. and goes to attack you with its claws. Sterling, come on. Come on. That is not enough. Its claws hit against your hard exterior. You don't even <laughs> hardly feel it. It hits one of All your right. chest plates, and uh, no effect. I continue to look into it. Okay, Falfer, you're up. <laughs> I will Zephyr strike into where Dimitri is. Okay. And then cast Cure Wounds. Are on. you casting it again? No. Um, it's within one minute. It's Zephyr a concentration strike spell. Lasts. Okay, so you lasts are. A minute long. You, you jumped it's in, but it's spell. one attack. It's not an attack. It's, not it's an one attack. attack. It gives you one attack. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Oh, that's true. So, so but you can still move. Part do, though. So I can still. It right. just means he can hold it, hold it until he wants to use it. Oh, right. So, yeah, so I can't just... The first Zephyr Strike, when you Zephyr Strike and then didn't attack, and yeah. then the second one when you... So... Yeah. Yeah. Can you continue to move for a certain amount of time at that speed? No. It says... Okay. I'll just read it and sure. we can sure. interpret it. A creature you touch... Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's Cure, cure Wounds. Zephyr Strike is... Um, you move like the wind until the spell ends. So Your movement doesn't duration? provoke opportunity attacks. Yeah. One minute. Okay. So one minute you can move in and out, uh, but you can only attack once. Um, you cast Cure Wounds. Uh, yeah. Okay, so cast that. Your Zephyr Strike goes down because now you've cast another spell. Right. What? Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it's... Because you have non-concentration yeah, during... Yeah, you don't have So you're that. good. Okay, so Cure Wounds, 1d8, yeah. uh, plus my ability modifier, so plus 4, 1d8, d8. Uh, 8, eight. plus Ooh. 4, 12. 12 points of damage. <gasps> wow, so it's come damage. Back again. Uh, of, of healing, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm so healing, sorry. Healing, <laughs> healing, healing, healing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 12. Yeah, 12. Yes. <laughs> okay. So okay. wants to sleep after this. And I'll move back out. Okay. Am I... How far out? Uh, Can you hear? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Um, Sterling, you're up. Cal, you're on deck. All right. Uh, I'm going to continue with the sorting. Yes. Hey, that's better. Uh, 17 to hit. That is a hit. Yay! Sorting. Sorting. All right. This is really good. This is really good. I'm really excited. It's four damage. Four damage. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Am I? You again slash across its chest, yeah. open up another gash. It is starting to stumble a little bit. It's not looking so great, but it's still standing. Okay, Am I, I continue to look intimidated. You are awake. Yes, okay. but you're still prone. Okay. Because you've, you've come back too, but you're still prone. That's such a good uh, spell. Callie? Uh, you're up. Uh, Rowan, you're on deck. Okay, so he's he's The good. rope is on the ground. Yeah. And, and he's, he's up. He's and up. you have a rope connected to you. <laughs> and you look at your shoulder, and there is currently a noose around your shoulder. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what happened? You, you can take that off. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just uh, Eldritch Blast again. Do I have disadvantage still? You know what? I'm going to give you inspiration for your creativity so far. Hey! Oh. hey. So the way that 
that works is you get a, a reroll at any point you want. Is that okay. One, one re-roll? Okay. Is okay. That, do I still have Thank disadvantage you. on attack rolls? Mm-hmm. In, in your thing. What's that? Where do I, I have what? disadvantage so, uh, on here? Attacks. You click that little insertion. The yes. little. Oh, okay. How long does it last? How long does the poison last? Uh, I have no yeah. idea. How, how, how long does it once? last? Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. It, 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 it isn't. A, it, it's it's my um. The start of your next turn, so you're good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I will try another Aldrich Blast. Yeah. And that will be 18. 18. 18 yeah. is a hit. Mm-hmm. That's six force damage. Okay. I swear I've never rolled below a six with this die. <laughs> this is the best right. D10. I've Again, that, that Eldritch Blast hits and it blows a hole into its chest, and part of its flesh flies off, um, and it is still barely standing. Uh, Dimitri, you're up. Um, I'm gonna stand up. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. You're so tall! <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try this again. And with my sword. Yeah. Oh. It's a 15. Uh, 15's a hit. Oh, come on. Finish him! And 10. Yes. Ten. How do you want to finish off? Yes. Oh, yes. Adam's getting all the kills today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, revenge. He's um, both receiving all the kills today I'm and all the kills. All the kills today. <laughs> I'm going full decapitation. Yes. Ooh. And landing in a kneeled position. Yes. Enough <laughs> that I'm able to pull the cloak back over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I love it. Like James I love Brown. It. Hey, so you, done. You, you come across with your sword and it cleaves straight through its head and its head kind of like flies in the air as you kind of watch it and as you turn your way back around with the momentum, you sheath your blade and grab the black cloth and pull it over and yes. then you do like a last rites on it. Yes. <laughs> and you guys are now out of oh, nice. initiative. Good I job. Am, yeah. Good job. Good job. So we impressed. One. Wow. Ah! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Jeez, what's happening? There's, there's a lot of violence happening right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we're out of initiative, so we're oh, great. Okay. Awesome. Dimitri, that was amazing. Oh, okay. thank you. What do you guys do? <laughs> it was a little little dicey there for a minute, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> this game is very dicey. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I sheath my sword, I grab my 10 foot pole again. You sheath your sword, you grab your tenth pole, and you start undoing <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, well, oh, I'm gonna keep it right. Okay. I'm, I want to okay. keep checking for traps right. everywhere I go. Okay. Foot locker is now open. The crate is still open. You are now, Dimitri, still standing over the foot locker that has shoved a little bit because of the combat. Yeah. Um, can I'm, I run into Dimitri's side and and like tug on his yeah. leg? Yes. And like his pant leg yeah. and go. That was a close one, my friend. Yes, I. I think I may have you to thank for reviving me there. Uh, perhaps, but I will say this. I have never seen such wonderful cloak work before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think you needed to be put down for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well done. What's inside this box? Ah, yes, I was just looking through here. Um, can I dig through this box yep. a little more? Yep, sure. So you get, uh, give me an investigation check again. Okay, uh, so you start to look through. You see a cloak, really finely made, and looks like it has gold trim with a gold brooch, kind of clasp that clasps it. Uh, like I said, a small wooden coffer. Uh, it's unlocked, and you open it, and it looks like there's four potions of red liquid mm. that is kind of iridescent mm. and it has a sparkle to it. It looks a lot like the healing potion you guys got earlier. Oh. So you have four healing potions. There is a chain mail shirt inside, hmm. uh, a mess kit. Uh, a flask of alchemist fire, Ooh. a bullseye lantern, and a set of thieves' tools. You also find a yellow leather Different covered notes. spell book inside as well. A leather, a leather, a yellow leather, red leather. Did you guys write all that down? Hmm. No. <laughs> I was Good picturing idea. everything. You should probably write all that down. Right. Who's Somebody. writing that down? I don't know. <laughs> I can write it down. Okay. Four. Should start bringing. Pen While and he's paper. writing that down, uh, yeah. who else? What else are you guys gonna do? Well, I need to get closer. Okay. What do you? Yeah. Get, uh, yeah. You get into the room. Yeah. I just. Where yeah. do you go? I just. Yeah. You Where just is um? Closer? Yeah. Where's Sterling? There was one oh, more chest, I think, that you could check. Yeah. 
Um, is there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, in, that box. in the corner back here. Yeah. The witch, there is another chest? There is another chest. There's an open, open crate. It's yeah, it's sure. Open. I'll go check you it out. over to the crate? Yeah. Callie, be wary. Um, in the crate... Oh. Darn it, I wanted to roll a dice. <laughs> no, you don't okay. have to. Oh. Uh, in the crate uh, is are 30 torches. Oh. And a leather sack that you see, not a human sack. Uh, not so a human skin sack. She doesn't have to sniff uh, it. <laughs> a, le- another s- a leather sack uh, with 15 candles in it. Hmm. 15 candles. 15 candles. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Can I yes. just get those items again? Yes. Fo- lo- uh, sorry. Uh, folded cloak yep. with gold trim. Uh, a wooden coffer uh, with four healing potions. Okay, wooden coffer. If you're taking, you, know, <laughs> you, you might not want to keep the coffer. You just take the potions. Yeah, you can just take the potions if you want. You don't have to hold them. Yeah, I'll just. Uh, chain shirt. Chain shirt. <laughs> okay, why don't we write this down and then you can type mm-hmm. it in, just because it'll speed it up a yeah. little bit here. Here. Uh, chain shirt, a mess kit. Flask of Alchemist Fire. Alchemist mm. Fire. Yes. A useful. Bullseye Lantern. Bullseye Lantern. Also useful. I don't know. What is that? A set of these tools. A Bullseye Lantern is basically, yeah. it has a, a lens in the front, so you can uh, open it up so that it does like a, a, a oh. wide kind of torch light, mm-hmm. yep. or you can close it in so that it has a beam, almost like a flashlight. Yeah. And you Who's can, out you can dim it more too, yeah. can't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, Bullseye Lantern, you get 60 feet of bright light and 60 feet of dim light. If I already have a torch, yeah. Would I do I need more or that torch just I can light I'm it whenever we'll always I want? Need more you don't, the last as hour long as I done. have but if I have one it's then garbage after yes. an hour and never have it again? You can never even though it it's in my thing? Yeah, you you, ta- you have to take them off as you light them. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So more torches never hurt. Yeah, okay. So can I um how much room do I have in my backpack? Enough. More torches. I don't know if you have enough for thirty. No. Okay. Well, it, it'll tell you if it's too heavy. It will. Yeah. Yes. Well, who does? The, the who app will tell me. The app, if you have yeah. ten more. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. Okay. And you can also oh. disperse the torches. You don't have to carry all thirty. Yeah. No. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So, um, and then I just go under torch. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. Oh, I have ten. I already have ten. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like. Good does anybody want any torch? I don't want it. I don't. I don't want that. I don't want more torches. Do I want any more torches? It's getting heavy. It wouldn't hurt to have extras. If nobody wants to carry them, I can. Um. He is very strong. (laughs) Well, how do I know? I'm scared that I'm going to get too heavy. How do I know when I'm... (laughs) All right, so I'm going to shove, like, uh, three more torches in my thing. Does anybody want any torches? um, I'm good, thanks to you. I might grab a few. uh, and candles? What? Okay. Uh, I'll just. I don't think candles are in my. Um, do I put candles in my my thing? Perhaps here? you might have a use for them. Yeah. Exactly. Point, okay. Though. How many candles are there? Fifteen. Fifteen. Oh yes, right. <laughs> and you already have a thieves' toolkit too, don't you? I do. Yeah. Yeah. I would I grab do. another one though. Yeah, it's gonna have just a back case. Because I think if you. You can break them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What that goes under? Do? Sorry, wait. That uh, goes under the tool, the thieves' tools, yeah, the can candles. Add, you can add another one. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. just a quantity. So you oh. took three torches. Three. Okay. How many did you, you take? take? How many should I take? How, how many did you take? I I just asked for some. I haven't taken any yet. I okay. took three, so I don't know how many. How many? Sorry, you guys just just There were there, there were thirty okay. total. I'm going to take the torch. I'm taking whatever's left. So I just need to know how many to add. Okay, I'll take fifteen. Okay. Okay, then I'll take the other 12. 12. She took three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So 12, yeah. 13, and okay. 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 Perhaps this might be a good opportunity to take a short rest in here. I agree. I would jump on the bed right now. Now, now hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so small. Feel free to snuggle up. <laughs> so you guys are take, uh, resting for a short while in here? Mm. Okay. Uh, is everyone good for that? Yes. Uh, I'd like yeah. to know where you guys are resting. Yes. I agree. I'm going to rest in the bed. Okay. Okay. Felford lies down on the bed. Dimitri, where do you want to go? Um, I'm going to be on the floor next to the wooden box, okay. the locker. 
Okay. You guys don't have to sleep. A rest is just mm-hmm. sitting and not doing anything strenuous. You can even walk around. You can read. You can right. Whatever. Yeah. But as I'll, 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 uh, the rest will stay. I, I've given I've given Fel for some some you know stress. Maybe I'll make nice with him. I'm gonna go sit on the bed. Okay. <laughs> he, you hear Seb. him sit on the bed. Now the bed is kind of moldy and nasty and kind of mm-hmm. ragged, but it feels good to sit on to lie on something soft, Sem- semi soft. Uh, mm-hmm. Where do you want to be, Callie? Sets the mood. Oh, beside the bed. Okay. I have a bed roll. That, I have a bed roll, so I'll just so use just my own do stuff. that and you just kind of yeah. sit on it? Okay, yeah. and Sterling? Um, I'm just going to be standing and waiting. I'm not really okay. going to roll any right. dice or anything. So you guys have an around. uninterrupted short rest. Okay. Uh, you yeah. guys can spend hit dice if you like to heal if you have to heal. Um, and you get any uh, abilities back that... Uh, that require a short rest to get back. So, Falfa, were you sleeping? So just uh, had a short rest in your app. Yeah. You were sleeping? Yeah. Um, okay. I want to use uh, my two sorcery points to regain my spell slot. That I used to use. Okay. All right. So do you guys two? rest for about an hour. You feel good after that hour. You're able to kind of just clear your minds a little bit. Anything you guys want to do within that hour. Um, I'd like you all to make perception checks, actually, within that hour. Oh, uh, that's gone. Yes. Thanks. Mm, 21. 14. Mm, nine. Flying high with my natural Six. 20. Wow. Okay, so uh, with the natural 20 and the 21, um, you have obviously seen a correlation with the black robes. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the thing he said about the cult is kind of resonating with you. Uh, things that you've read about cult activities and the books mm-hmm. and the rituals. This must be some sort of cult headquarters that you imagine. Right. Um, and you imagine that this this room was probably the leader of the cult's room. It's the most ornate. Uh, just the, obviously the, the yeah. Uh, Roan, with a natural twenty, you know that this was. Um, the lady and the man in the picture, mm. that this was their quarters. Hmm. No. Um, and you also ascertain, you think, and are pretty certain that that was their bodies, that they were the guests you just fought. Oh, oh wow. wow. The Dursts. Oh, um, wow. Roan, is this related to those books you found in the secret area upstairs? From what I can tell, I'm guessing that this room belonged to the lady and master of the household, and that these two were both of them. Hmm. I am not certain that we should stay in this place any longer. What what are we attempting now? We've killed so many monsters. I understand what you're saying, and I completely agree. However, the risk... The reward does seem to suit the risk, and I uh, motion towards all the loot we've been picking up. I understand, but we've heard many chanting voices coming from the other room down the hall. How many do you think are in there, and do you think we would be able to fight all of them? Should we really tempt fate? Maybe we don't have to fight them if we become them. Interesting. See all these robes? Yes. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> we may be able to disguise ourselves. Look at this one. The most finely ornate gold trim robe. Um, this has got to be something good. Th- these Maybe sizes, it was his. Are they, Maybe. Are they like, human-sized robes? Yes, or not size. You could you all probably fit into them. Some of them are tighter than others, but yeah. Okay. And loose. How tall was the master? The master of the house? Yes. Master of the house. Uh, <laughs> that, that is Gustav, uh, yes. and his wife was Elizabeth. And yes. he was about, well, from what you can see, he's kind of hunched over, he's undead. Uh, but like oh, six feet, just over six feet. Perfect for me! <laughs> Maybe you should pretend to be the master. Wear the fancy robe, I'm sure that was his. An excellent idea. Mm. I've had my eye on that robe anyways. <laughs> Try it on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, throw this, I'll throw this around me and, uh, and I'll, uh, well, how does it look? It is befitting of you. It is very well made. Huh? Is it comfortable? It, it's very well made from what I can tell. I'd like you to make an arcana check, please. Oh. Um, You're cursed. Well, so who's carrying the rest of the items Seven for longer? Um, you believe it's magical. Oh. You, you, as you put it on, you see that there's magical runes kind of sewn oh. into it, uh, but you imagine that it requires attunement. Hmm. Uh, 
have we done this before or after or during the break? Because during, let's say this is all happening. Kind would of. I have time to attu- attune to this? Pray it's not cursed. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I would say that you guys wait the time that is required in order to attune to it. Okay. You now have a cloak of protection. Ooh. Nice. But the frozen Party yogurt is also cast. <laughs> you guys can decide who gets it. Uh, can I be thumbing through the the spell book? Sure you can. Just uh, to see. Can we an arcana check? Can it be given to different people at different times? Or some one person has to have Everybody would have to time? attune to it. It requires attunement to not spend a certain amount of time with the item before you can yeah. use its magical gotcha. abilities, basically. Okay. Mm-hmm. If he dies, you can steal it from his body. Okay. With a nine, you're not of the arcane. You think it's arcane magic? Uh, um, and so you're not quite understanding exactly what's in it. Ooh, I can't make too much sense of these. It seem to be some kind of spells. Spells? Uh, yeah. Interesting. May I take a look? Sure. Be my guest. All right, I'm going to take a look through the yeah. spells. So um, there are wizard spells in it. Um, um, disguise self, first level. Identify and mage armor, magic missile, protection from evil and good. Ooh. And that second level spells are dark vision, hold person, invisibility, and magic weapon. Mm. Wow. Uh, so I obviously you can't understand use. them, but I can't use them. Yeah. Yes, they're made up of various wizard spells. However, I'm unable to use them, but they might be of use at some point. Mm. All right, I'll keep in mind. Hold on to this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll throw, I'll they, throw it uh, they in the bag. noise? I'm imagining they're... Oh, yeah, we're, we're speaking okay. yeah. Yeah. normal. So I'll wake up from my rest. Okay. Yeah. Far. You guys are now done your rest. Yes, uh, Sterling? I have a question for you. Uh, absolutely. I thought you were a bearded seven-year-old. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> you... You led me to believe that you were a seven-year-old with a beard, and I questioned it and wondered how you grew a beard because I was 11 and didn't have a beard. You told him what? He lied to you, boy. (laughs) I'm understanding this now, but I don't understand. Why are you so small? (laughs) And how old are you now? Uh, uh, Very good questions. And uh, yes, I may have misled you for a little bit, but only for your benefit. Why for my benefit? How is that helping me? I'll tell you why. Because uh, as someone who is... I'm very curious as well. Uh, I need to hear this. As as someone who is very experienced, it's uh, to your benefit to not know how much old I am. Why? Because certain people, if they know how old I am, then they assume I know more than I might not in their eyes. Mm. So, by pretending to be young, I actually get to hide the things that I can do because I'm old. Are you saying that younger people can get away with being stupid? <laughs> you put it on the nose, my friend. Yes, you can pretend to be stupid much more regularly if you are very young. What do you think of me, then? I mean, clearly you are very stupid. No, I mean, clearly you are very young. <laughs> <laughs> I had respect for you until this conversation. No, no, I simply mean this. Ignorance, right, is ignorance, which is also bliss. <laughs> this is the single most awkward moment I've had since I've joined this group. Shall we carry on? Well, we were discussing. Um, so, so, so you are saying you're 11 years old, no? Eleven and three quarters. Right, but look how large you are. You do not need to tell anyone that you are eleven. For 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 what everyone might think, you could be a hundred years old. You're so tall. If you could, would you not? I would not pretend experience if I do not have it. That would be dangerous to others. Oh, it depends on depends on what your goals are. This conversation's blowing my mind. <laughs> I'm still curious. Hmm. You would rather be seen as a stupid young person than a stupid old person? Of course! Because stupid young people, this is what they do. They are dumb. They are stupid. They make mistakes. Um, Old people can be stupid too, like you. (laughs) (laughs) Very true. I have made some very serious mistakes. I've almost died because of those mistakes. Yes, you made friends with the door and it did not go well. No, of course. But now you gain the benefit of my stupidity. We are all better for it. I have learned a lesson about doors. Of course. 
And so have I. Good, we have made progress. Let's move on. I believe there's a moral to this conversation. I agree. I do not know what it is. <laughs> but we've learned a lot. Yes. The moral of, of the story is this. Everyone, if there is a small, bearded, halfling man, do not trust him. <laughs> that is the moral. Are you, what is a halfling? <laughs> uh, that's another story. Uh, let us... Uh, Wake up. Oh, I mean, I, I am now awake. <laughs> since it's been brought up, mm. I must ask, since you've told us you're untrustworthy yourself, mm. did you plan to kill Orville? Good, good question. <laughs> I mean, no. Much like I did not plan to get butter before I went into the, the, the waiter, or the dumb waiter. I, uh, listen, I'm a new adventurer, but that does not mean I have, I have no past experiences. Just because I am new at adventuring does not mean that I don't have a past life. So, so I would make mistakes as an adventurer, much like I made mistakes in my past. Like dropping a dumb waiter onto Orville's head. No, we're not saying that was done on purpose. <laughs> uh, but. No, but it's a very good question. Much like the question I have not asked you yet about how far you see in the dark when I have seen you see in the dark, despite you saying you do not see in the dark. That is a good question. It's I think true. he can see in the dark. He's walked into dark rooms before. I, I before I was there with the light. So when someone accuses you of not being trustworthy and they themselves are not being trustworthy... Oh, I've never said I'm not trustworthy. Oh, I know. It's very dishonest. Are you At trustworthy, you Callie? Yes. Dimitri? <coughs> Are you trustworthy? Well, yes, I, I swore I know. Do I believe that? Do I believe that? I have I mean, to it's it's it. Okay. Now, as a knight, uh, I was made to be a... 17. Okay, and what are you trying to... Ask? Whether I believe whether they're trustworthy people or not. Okay. Callie with especially, because I feel like Adam... Sure. With a 17, you don't have to roll anything. Oh. With a 17, what would you say? A 17 is a really good roll. Yeah. So just, are you being trustworthy? Yes. Yeah. Okay, here's the... Oh, if you're being yes. honest. Hmm. Yes, I was always taught to be trustworthy and to be normal to those underneath me or around me. I believe you, and I believe you. I but would be honest with you. I'll tell you why I have a beard. Most of my people do not. I was trying to find someone to go into battles to fight monsters with, because I'm very adventurous, but no one would fight with something that looks like a child. Hmm. So as soon as you had your beard, that's when the monsters started. Uh, close. I think what he means is... What appears before us is fake. Is that a false beard you're wearing? Uh, it is a beard. Oh, he said he had to yeah, grow. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not but, pulling hard, but I'm tugging. Okay. Ha, large metal man. Please let go. All right, so now I start to pull to kind of like lead to make him walk. No, no, no. All right. Okay, stop it. I think it's real, and I let go. <laughs> so now you know. Hmm. I, was I can watch. trust your beard, I but I don't know if I can fate. trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm of the same mind, boy. If I'm we not are, sure I can trust him. If we are to survive, we need to be able to trust each other, do mm. we not? I agree. I agree as well. Which is why I let you pull down my beard. <laughs> Forgive me for that. It's all right. Do you understand why I did it? Because... You were testing the trust. Yes, I was. I was testing the trust. And the I trust has proven as strong as your facial hair. <laughs> exactly. It's, uh, it's, it's very strong. Look, look, I cannot pull it off. I, 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 there's a couple of hairs stuck between my fingers. I sprinkle them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you guys doing? Um, I have to know. Yeah. Do I actually believe his beard is real? Give me a... Uh, Inside check. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, I, I'm sure it, it's eight. <laughs> you think it's real? Okay. It's real. 
And with that, we're going to take a yes. break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we'll take a bio break. We oh, have what a cliffhanger. Again, is um, it real? <laughs> if you follow us on our Realmsmith uh, Twitch channel, then you will like this potion bottle. We thank you for all of the subscriptions mm. and the donations and the follows tonight. And uh, we're going to have Grigori join us to talk a little bit about the items uh, that we're unlocking via Extra Life donations. You can tell them mm. what, what that's like. I'm going to go uh, bio break. Break, and then we'll be right back. Hello, We're also going to ask some questions. Sorry. So, um, if you have a question, uh, and you if you've asked it throughout the stream, we didn't have anybody on moderation. Jeff will jump on to the chat, and so on our channel and on the D and D channel, if you can ask your questions, and then the production guys will filter them through to us, and we can ask them. It will also be on the chat as well. So prepare your questions for after Grigori gives us a little walkthrough of what is available now via Extra Life donations. Yay. Uh, oh, yeah, I already gave it to him. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Gregory, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Comment on here. They just survived gas, and the aftermath is to trust a beard or not. <laughs> yes, that's right. I've been thinking you've been faking the entire time. I've been looking for an opportunity for four sessions to question the beard, and now because of a low insight, I believe it. <laughs> Funny, yeah, funny. It's, it's some of those like early character things. You just don't know if they're true or not. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know what this is gonna do to my hair. Gregory, it's never, you. It never makes my hair better. <laughs> hey, hey, let's get the market up. Ah, yeah. press, press I am a Greek Gary. M button. There I can see that some people have already donated for the kids. This yes. is great. I love that we are donating for the kids because we love the kids. We love the kids. We love the kids. And when you help the kids, you help the party. Yay. Yay. Yes, indeed, indeed. Oh, then this is a little off center. There we go. <laughs> ah, now I look like my grandmother. Great. Yes. You, uh, you look like a grandma. Yes, I do. Uh, very soon I'm going to grow my hair out very long and curly. Hopefully it will be beautiful. <laughs> very beautiful. Now, as you can tell, we are raising money for Extra Life. And Extra Life helps Children's Medical Network <laughs> hospitals. Mm-hmm. And those <laughs> hospitals help the kids. And we, we love the kids. Help the kids. How much do you love the kids, Gregory? Yes, Gregory, tell us how much you love the kids. Infinity times a bajillion. Oh, that makes no sense mathematically, yeah, Gregory. But it makes sense to it me, doesn't Gregory. Me too. So, <laughs> we have some new items here for the party, as you can see down below. Now, if I can try and figure out which. And this one. No, that way. Okay. Yes. Now, we have a greater portion of healing for 200 gold pieces, which we are closing in on very quickly. We have a quiver plus one bolt, 10 of them for 300 extra gold pieces, which also translates to weird dollars in your world. So, mm -hmm, we have uh, for an extra 200 gold pieces, a potion of invisibility, and then, yes, necklace of fireballs with two two fireball uh, beads on it which would allow somebody to cast fireball at will amazingly now look 2500 gold pieces that is our goal and through your generous donations you got us past 1000 last time let's see if we can reach 2500 as soon as humanly possible to help the key i heard that last time the people raised over seven hundred dollars inside of the session is that true gregory absolutely and so the how people's generosity made it so that we more than doubled the donations that we started last session with and, and so we love the kids so we we hope that we can reach this goal of 2500 gold pieces so how? Which is a scroll of resurrection. So if someone dies, we can bring them back to life, Gregory? Possibly. <laughs> okay, and does, uh, does that mean that if all people need to do is go to twitch.tv slash realmsmith, go down to the panel underneath the video, and then add their donation to the extra life box, and then the party might get those things that are on that bottom bar? 
That is exactly right! <laughs> You're a wise child! Uh, you explain it so well! And you explain it better! <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for all of your wonderful, generous donations. Because when you help the kids, you help the party. Donate to Extra Life for the kids. For the kids. For the kids. I'm one of the kids, I promise. OK, let's see what this did there. <laughs> OK. I wore hair gel today in hopes that it wouldn't. Uh... Hey, look at that. I don't know you, if you it's. You did it. Let's see, I got a cowlick somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> We're whatever. At, uh, we Adam, are, we started the session. It's okay. We started the session at a thousand ten dollars. We're at a thousand forty five dollars. Okay. Okay. So, so people have five extra dollars. Yes. It is wonderful, but we can do better. We can do better. Um, so now would be a good time to see. Oh, and there are questions. Yay! Oh. Okay. So. Um, thanks for being awesome, guys. That was, Aww. Really cool. Aww. That, was, that was the thing. Thanks for Aww. being awesome. Was that a question, though? Did I have a question? Was that thanks for being awesome? It's just for <laughs> thanks for being awesome. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Question. What option did you guys use to generate ability scores? Uh, we so I know there's different, there's different methods. Manual. Yeah. We use yeah. manual option. We did the old roll four, take off the lowest, and then do that six times. Yeah, that's right. And then we just, we did it until, <laughs> that's not bad. We rolled until we thought we were like. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I rolled in the first set I got. I like, oh, this is, this is going to work. It had, it had a, um, a 17 in it. And so I know I wanted, if I at least get one 18, at level one, it's pretty good. So that was the first set I got, and then I had a seven, so I dumped that into the decks. <laughs> <laughs> and it hasn't been too great because I have minus two on initiative now, and yeah. I've been going last every turn. But yes. That's fine, though. Um, so uh, someone else asked, why, um, why the suit? Oh, why the suit? I was at a funeral <sighs> earlier today. Uh, and I didn't bring a change of clothes. <laughs> there we go. And it's handsome, so, so there, we kept so there, it on. There's your hand. <laughs> um, question. That one spinny dice that Or Orville used a few... Yeah, you said Orville, but it's Oral. Or Oral. <laughs> they said Orville. So I've Orville. been saying Orville. Orville Redenbacher yeah. used um, a few episodes ago. Is that something we may or may not hear about at some point? Okay. Okay. So here is the actual deal. Um... Yes, you will be able to order them on Kickstarter within the next 30 days. So that is what that is what the news is. Um, they're super cool, and we're going to release the Kickstarter very soon. The next session, I'm going to be playing with them. So you'll be oh. able to catch up. Yeah. Catch okay. Up on all of that. So yeah, super fun. Okay. Spinny dice. Um, spinny yeah. dice. If we can get them in front of the overcam to see what they look like yes, next to session. Totally. Um, another question. I uh, saw another one here. Do you guys have any other questions out there? Oh, yes. Will we get to donate to Madness was a Kiwa 68 question. I, I'm assuming that means donate to the extra life awesomeness. Sorry, what? Um, um, the question was, will we get to donate oh, to Madness? It's okay. I think they just mean to the Madness, like no, just to us. Yeah. Yeah. And we just talked about that, right? We went through the whole thing with Grigori and where to donate and all yes. that. Yes. You know, I, I thought maybe they were asking if they could donate towards insanity in the party. Oh. oh. So instead of go, it going towards good items yeah. for us, it goes towards like two yeah. more guests. So we have yes. an idea, and I'd like to do this soon, where, um, and we're, we're, we're working on implementing it, but basically where our Extra Life team has, has start, we're going to add members, all of us, as characters to our Extra Life team. Ooh. If somebody donates directly, if somebody donates directly to that person, that person will get inspiration at this? a certain level. Mm. 
to look at Including Strahd von Zarevich, who is me. <laughs> so I will also have inspiration for certain things, too. So those sorts of things we're going to do, folks, and it's going to get really fun and crazy. And we've got all kinds of ideas. Yeah. So. There's, like, are we talking like insanity, like madness? Is that what they're talking about? I think that's what they're talking I think about. That's, I'm not sure. They yeah. can clarify if they... Madness is a mechanic. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So maybe yeah. is there a rolling table or something that we have to be uh, severely afraid of? You'll find out. Yeah. Uh, right. Another question is, what are each of your characters' backstories? Well, mm-hmm. rather than just give away our backstories kind of as asides to the game, yeah. we're trying to RP backstories in the actual game, which yeah. might take mm-hmm. extra time, mm-hmm. but that's yeah. what we've agreed we're going to try to do. But you can also read the backstories in the D&D overlay, that's which right. we haven't told, talked about before. Uh, on the screen right now, when you're watching on our Twitch, on the Realmsmith Twitch, if you over, if you roll over, it's on right right now? Or would I believe, turn it off? I don't know. To be honest, I don't know okay. if it's on. But I think the overlay is on. If you... Uh, uh, mouse over or tap the screen, you can actually bring up our character sheets and look through our D&D Beyond character mm-hmm. sheets. So uh, that's one way to kind of learn more about the players um, while you're watching. <laughs> Dish Pickle says, Dish. a funeral suit. How appropriate for Strahd. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you did almost die. Yes. Yeah. So, I, uh, yeah. yeah. I was, if it got back to my turn and I rolled a one, I would be dead. Oh. I know. I had to get in there. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Are we, are we ready to get back in? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. Let's do that. Let's do it. Boom. All Thank right. you all for the donation of the cloak. Yes. <laughs> I believe that conversation. <laughs> we that wasn't, that it wasn't a cloak donation. That was actually just part of the story. <laughs> no, I know. Oh, oh right. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> right. Yes. We haven't decided yes. that yes. yet. The, yes. the, the, the Who's carrying the rest of the items? We need to know that. I have the spell book. I have the cloak. Adam has everything else, and they have a mix of torches, I guess, and candles. Okay. Right. Yeah. I grabbed but a can, bunch of things. Can he use the chain shirt? Off. I'm already wearing one. Mm. Oh. Whatever you just talked about. Um, okay, although perhaps we can distribute the potions, healing potions. Excellent idea. Mm. Good idea. Right. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay, how do you guys want to distribute them? There are four here. I I don't I don't have to carry one, but if you would like me to, I can. I think it makes sense for people who cannot or do not have the ability to heal themselves to at least carry one. <clears throat> uh, well, okay. You can't, I assume, by your clearing of your throat? Of course I can't heal them myself. Do I look like a cleric or a... A ranger? <laughs> a medicine man? <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Okay. How about yourself? Uh, you have the skills to heal yourself? It's true, I do. I used what seemed like all of my healing on you, though, earlier. Right. <laughs> but, uh, true. Okay. Uh, how about you, yourself, um, Sterling? Can you heal yourself? Or? I cannot. You should definitely have one of these potions. Yeah, I have this one. I, I seem to have an ability where, actually, forgive me, I have an ability where I can heal myself a little bit during, oh. during battle. Wow. So it is okay if someone else would like to carry this. Okay. <laughs> she grabs it. Fine, I'll take it. All right. I'm gonna put it in my backpack. All cool. right, that leaves two more. Want one? Sure, I will take one. Blink. And I'll take, hold on to the last one then. Very good. Perfect. Healing. So, can I ask you a question? Mm. Um, what is our ultimate goal in this place? That is a good question. Do we leave or do we stay? We certainly have not um, discovered all of the the basement. But the question is, and Ron, you asked earlier, why are we in a basement? (laughs) So here is my consideration. I fear that we've come to an extremely dangerous land where peril might strike at any corner. And it's clear to me that while we've been in here, we have benefited tangible benefits I hold up and I shake the healing potion. Mm. Perhaps we should continue on for those benefits. Or perhaps we call it quits, we get out of here, we find those awful little children and we do away with them as well. Do you want to kill the ghost children? Can you kill a ghost? We have fought ghostly beings, but did they die? Will they come back? How does that work? It's a very good question. It's a very good question. I meant the rascals outside who pointed us into here. They're yes. clearly led us to a trap. 
Those rascals. Hmm. Rascals. Probably hoping that we'll end up on some sort of sacrificial altar in here. Hmm. Do you think they would fear our weapons? Should we try to intimidate them? I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, speaking of sacrificial altars, altars, let's uh, distribute the rest of these cloaks. We may need them just in case. Yep. Um, so I'm guessing, well, I guess I shouldn't guess. Um, will, will they fit? These two appropriately, or will it look, or are they, or are they like meant for humans and it'll look weird? No. Like, what is oh well, yeah, they would be too big for him. Oh. Well, here's Perhaps one. We all you put there's wait. two. Oh, there's, there's two only of them. There's and three. Then there's the cloak of yeah. protection. Yeah. Oh right, right. Okay. All right. Well, there were two in the closet. Yeah. The cloak of protection in the foot locker. And then like. Was there any more in the other? Stairs or somewhere. Yeah. yeah there's in the other. Yeah. Yeah. The so there's only stairs. three in total, including the cloak of protection. Okay. okay. So, okay. In, going, in going over the documents that we have collected along the way, I seem to be able to pinpoint um, a particular person that we are supposed to contain within Barovia. Listen to this. Uh, their pa- uh, it says, it says uh, let holy men, like yourself, hmm. um, call upon their power that the devil may be contained within the walls of uh, Weeping Barovia. So mm. clearly, if we have the goal of protecting Barovia, we should contain this, N- now this evil power. On. We have killed the devils from the walls. They're on the ground. And wh- what is this goal of protecting Barovia? I recall no such goal. It says here. It says, uh, we, uh, I know what it says, we've read it before, but I don't understand what that has to do with us. Who's, where's Sorry. that letter from? That was not intended. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was no, like, we no. took too long! <laughs> they found us! Um, Where did what that? about Madam Eva? That was her name, yes? Eva? It was. Yes, name, let's yes. finish up with this place and head to Madam Eva. Do we need to finish up with this place? Well, I suppose that's the conversation. Hmm. Well, there are certainly places in this, what seems like, enormous basement that we have not looked through yet. It does not seem like anything has been out of our league yet. Perhaps we can handle this place. This, this is some sort of underground cult. We have seen the horrible things that are in here. Uh, literally underground. Yes. Do we really want to see more? We've, we've seen terrible things. Well, if, uh, if the person in that letter is the big bad man of this area, he may be in this, in this basement dungeon if we just follow the sounds. It says here, leave our sorrows to our graves and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we are all departed for a better life. I am not sure wealth is worth all of this. That's a good point. There is a limit to how much wealth can uh, keep a, an adventurer sustained. I just mean we should... We should leave the world a brighter place. Clear it of some darkness, but have we not done enough here? This place is full of death. I mean, it reeks of darkness and reeks of other things as well. But clearly, also lots of darkness. Hmm, he's right. Although, in for a copper, in for a gold. (laughs) (laughs) I don't get it, but if you all wish to stay, I will. It's true, and as I say that, I gently (laughs) rub the cloak. In for a copper, in for a gold. Listen, Sterling, you seem to want to chase the evil out of the world, no? Yes, but wisely. I don't care about all that, but so far, I do know that this is a gold mine. Well, so far, I will say this, regardless of the gold mine, we have collectively killed many, many dark things down here, have we not? Yes. So, clearly our purpose is to continue. Both of you have almost died. Yes, but because we are together, we have not. We are very strong as a team. 
To me, all that has happened is us solidifying our team. It seems like we are together for a reason. Perhaps we should continue. So you're saying it is destiny? I'm saying yes. Perhaps it is. Then I will lean on your advanced years of wisdom. Thank you, my friend. You may touch the beard whenever you want. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. All right. Okay. Where do you guys want to head? Yeah. Um, I hope we didn't just kill ourselves by agreeing to this. <laughs> <laughs> we may have. Um, um, <laughs> one way. Back yeah, I guess yeah. there are, where, the, where the killer door you know was. What? Actually, uh, as we're doing this, I, I do remember upstairs that there were some hidden hidden areas and oh, right, door. Right. I, I want to take a look through this hallway and through here to look for any hidden doorways or any any compartments, anything that might be missing. Uh, yep, investigate. If I can take a look. Yep. Can I do the same? Sure. Yeah, it's an eight. Or you can help him. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's uh, an investigation is an eighteen. Yeah. So uh, with the eight, all you see is the is the cavities that the ghasts came out of. Mm -hmm. um, you don't see anything in this area that seems to be a hidden passage. I'm pretty sure there's nothing down here. Perhaps I mean, further on. Yes, perhaps. Okay. So marching order. Uh, drift globe. Last. <laughs> All right. Second last. Um, I yeah, will I'm drift globe and ten foot pole at the front if nobody yeah. argues. I'll okay. be third. I'll, I'll go behind. Him. Yeah, I'm third. Because um, he's got. As one. we're walking, I want to say something to you. Okay. Okay, I Fulfer, where are you? I'm, I'm just behind, just in front of Roan, who's last. Yep. Okay. All right. So as you're in front of me, I want to rest my hand on your shoulder and lean in a little bit. Nothing personal about drawing everyone's attention to your untrustworthiness. <laughs> my. If you <laughs> if you look up at me, uh, you'll notice that my eyes have gone black again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh wow! Look at that. Mm. What? Okay, so I uh, I notice his eyes and I scuttle <laughs> closer to Callie's leg. <laughs> like, oh, sorry, um, sorry. <laughs> um, just, just, uh, you know, may I, may I stand in front of you? Is that all right? Mm, yes, go ahead. This man is creeping. Alpha, we were bonding. We were, we were. You're right. We were talking. Okay. <laughs> 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 we're talking. <laughs> 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 and, and, yeah. okay. I'm so, following them. All right. Down the... So you are continuing down this area. Sure. Okay. With the pool, right? The pool. You, you can give me a perception check. Brandon's face right here is like, uh, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> sure. I'm in front. Okay. Perception check. Oh, nice. A six. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do great, guys. <gasps> Oh, so corners. you can see it's, um, I'll bring you up here as well. Yeah. Oh, little. Okay. You are, uh, you see, uh, what is it, 20 and 20? And this is where all the so cultists are. Ten, Do we hear uh, chanting? Ten. Ten. Yes, still. Oh, Do we understand wow. the language? Can we hear it well enough to good hear, question. hear language? Oh, that's, no. that is a good question. Yeah. You do not. So they're just... I can understand different languages. Yeah, they're just chanting and like... Okay, you enter uh, an area. It appears to be uh, an open space that your um, drift globe light does not reach the other side. Okay. Um, what you do see from this angle uh, is skeletal uh, corpses chained, manacled to the wall along the left and the right side. The left wall goes straight, and the right side starts to veer off a little bit. Do they show any signs of life no. or movement? Not that you can see. Does anyone else see these corpses? Mm. Skeletons chained to the wall? Only Dimitri can at this point, unless you move further into the room. Yeah, I'll, I'll peek in to look at the skeletons, too. Mm, that's quite unsettling. What do you think, Dimitri? Falfer, you can see as well, but the other two cannot. Yeah. Okay. Should we even bother continuing? Should we go back? Well, I think there's been a lot of evil committed in this horrible basement. It would be good to let the perpetrators be brought to justice. I do not disagree. However, this time, I will let other people check all of the doors. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we continue? Let's. Okay. So, okay. I'll push forward. Okay, you guys move however far you want in the room, and I'll tell you how... 
How much? How much you want to go? Another thirty feet? Or... <laughs> you guys are so tentative. Yeah. I am. I am moving slow. Just tap, tap, ten tap, foot tap, tap, hitting anything tap, tap, that might look dangerous. <laughs> Love it. What did you push in the drift globe with my shield? It was a six. Okay. Mm. But I could roll again if you want. <laughs> All right. Okay. I thought I could okay, do better. Can I also behind them? I'm going to also try to make sure that the stones around are not triggers or traps or as soon as I get there check. can you tell me what I see yeah. can you see how far 120 120 dark vision 20 <gasps> investigation not max <laughs> you're not seeing anything out of the ordinary okay at this at this stage from this angle it, so is the chanting just not loud enough for us to tell the language right Okay. Yeah, it's just too distant. Still yeah, distant. Really, oh, still, still, distant. still distant. And even more distant than it was when you first came down the stairs. Oh. oh. Thank goodness. Um, mm. So you see to there. Um, what you see, I'll give you kind of, and you see the rest of the room. The rest of you do not metagame, please. Right. Okay. I promise. Oh. I... <laughs> you don't have to cover your eyes. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I see Nazi. <gasps> what is this? What do I see? Okay, this room is festooned with moldy skeletons that hang from rusty shackles. On the walls? On the walls. But I don't see that. You're seeing that. He's seeing this. Okay, cool. Um, A wide alcove in the south wall, which is the wall to the right, contains a painted wooden statue carved in the likeness of a gaunt, pale-faced man wearing a (laughs) voluminous black cloak his pale left hand resting on the head of a wolf that stands next to him. In his right hand, he holds a smoky gray crystal orb. The room has exits ahead and behind you. And you can hear the chants coming from that direction. Hmm. 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 It's like, what do you do? Don't forget, there's also a Grick somewhere. That is true. He scurried away when we weren't looking. Very good point. But he does not seem willing to fight us. True, just make sure you don't step on him. I cannot see. Does anyone else see anything? I, I, uh, I look at, <laughs> I look at Ronan and go, does anyone <laughs> see anything? <laughs> I'll just <laughs> smile at you creepily, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can only see what the drift globe shows me. Hmm. Yes, me too. Well, we, we, we got 20 and 20, though. Can, can we see that, or is it blocked by the pillar? Or, or can he see that? He can see the edge. Well, not not even. He can't even see the... the, the so 20 would be 5, 10, 50. Yeah, you can see the wolf, the, the hmm. side of the wolf statue, the wooden wolf statue. It's a statue. Okay, good. A painted wolf statue. And he can see it. Yeah. Okay. And you can see a couple sconces on the walls where torches sit mm. but are unlit. Okay. Does it just smell like death in here? Is there... It 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 not like it did with the ghasts. It yeah. just smells like mildewy old. Nobody's been here in a long time. Do we hear anything? Other just than the chanting. chanting. Currently just the chanting. Alright. I would move forward then. Okay, how far? <laughs> 10 feet, but still using my pole to look straight. Can you move move your character or tell uh, yeah. him where to move? Straight. 10 feet, you said? Okay. Oh. In the middle of the room here, you see now the I'm same statue two. of this pale faced mm. uh, man holding a, a globe. Yeah. Uh, an orb globe um, beside this wolf. Does it look like my globe? No. Well, our globe? Like the Driffles? Uh, yes. I've named it Driffles, by the way. Driffles the Globe. <laughs> Driffles? Driffles? Uh, Driffles the Globe. Can, can, we, Driffles. Uh, can we continue on? Um, I'd like to walk into the room as well. It's just a smoky gray crystal orb. Mm. It does not look like yours. That's interesting. Where Would you, you agree? Where are you guys yes. going? Are you guys heading I want to walk a little mm-hmm. bit further in. Yeah. Yeah. How far? Around. How far? I'm going to go... Um, <laughs> I don't do far too far. Behind. Uh, I, <laughs> so I hear Skid Never Skid Skid call me. I'll go behind the pillar. Here? Yeah. That one? Yeah, that okay. one. Okay. You? I'll, I'll walk up beside Sterling. Yes. What do you think of this globe? No, Held no, no, no. by the statue. I'm, behind, I'm by Falfer. Uh, 
Interesting. Let me take a better look. Uh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, are we God. are we allowed to to uh, to um to shoot arrows at these things when it's, we're can, not in you a fighting? Can, uh, you, you are allowed yeah. to do whatever you want. Do it. Can I? Okay. You can, can try I take absolutely a look anything and see if I can figure out what this globe is for. Is it glowing? Is there anything Give about it? Give me an check. Yeah. Do you want to shoot uh, something at it? I'm gonna. I want to ask. Hey guys, do you think I should shoot an arrow at uh, it, or do you think that may? That's uh, fifteen. Open up. Can of worms. It's a fifteen. Yeah. Um, it's, it looks innate from this from this distance. It looks like a crystal orb. You don't you don't you don't see any sort of markings on it or any any sort of idea that it might be. From magical. this distance, it looks totally innate. I Perhaps would, we should get closer. Kelly, I would trust your instincts. Lead the way. <laughs> oh, 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 is that so? <laughs> <laughs> a gentleman. Just let's see if Kelly can uh, knock the orb off, or or I, I wouldn't want to get too close. Oh, it's just an orb. It's just a statue. I'm sure it's fine. I want to shoot an arrow at the okay. the werewolf thing. Okay, shoot an arrow with advantage at the the wolf thing. The wolf, the wolf statue. Thing. Oh, the wolf, or, the, or are you shooting or the at the wolf or the or the sta- or the person, <laughs> the humanoid the, statue? The wolf. The wolf. Okay, do it. Yeah, I'm worried about roll that twice. wolf. I will this twice. Yeah, yeah and okay. then you pick up highest. Two? So that's not good. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> no whammies. Yeah. 19. Okay. Where are you aiming at? I'm going to aim at wolf. its. Um, I'm going to aim at its. Like here. The face? Okay. Yeah. Side of its face. Sticks into it. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Nothing w- happened. Wood splinters. Off oh, okay, good. Okay. Mm. We're good. It's good. Uh. It didn't. Okay. So that was worth the test. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking arrow off. Trick arrows. Yes. Why didn't you tell me that before I had <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, yeah. arrows actually hit anything? Yeah. If you don't miss, they're not. They're you not. can't use them anymore. Yep. You can pick up arrows that don't that don't hit sometimes. There's I have fun. never taken an arrow off. Well, now you know. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm taking yeah, off. You go to your Joel can show you how to do that yep. while we. Okay. Um, what are you guys doing? Okay. Okay. Oops, uh, I'll step forward one okay. and get a better look. Okay. Do I see anything now that I have a direct view? Do Give I see me anything a different? Perception check. Every time I shoot an arrow? Yeah. Oh, I was so close Ooh. to a 15. That's close. Uh, that's yeah. 14. Um, with a 14, you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. You do notice that there are um, like dead flowers at the foot of the statue. Uh, and some bones, uh, but like small, maybe even rodent bones or some sort of small animal bones scattered. But they're old, long decayed, huh. bleach bone at this point. I'm going to walk a little bit closer, okay. and then I'm going to uh, kick my foot through the bones okay. uh, and look around and very peculiar. Hey, hey, let me check the flowers. Is that okay? Yeah, they're just they're they're old and withered and like. So, yeah, you know how they get um, like yeah, like yeah. it's hard to do yeah. that from behind a pillar. Yeah. No, I I will come up behind you oh. and and okay. come and see. Wait 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 the the flowers. So I just want to here? see. Yeah, okay. I just want to see what the bones. Okay. Can I identify what oh. kinds of bones and what kinds of, of flowers? Give they me are? a nature check, please. Nature check. And that is a, a thirteen. Um, with the thirteen. Um, you imagine these are roses at, okay. at some point, okay. um, mm-hmm. and the bones, um, perhaps some sort of small cat or dog size. So yeah, you're not sure, um, but it's some sort of small creature, probably about this big, a badger or a cat or mm-hmm. something like that. This comes from a small animal, and these are roses. Perhaps someone was mourning their dead cat. Hmm. Interesting. Well, what do you make of the statue there? Does the orb look loose? Uh, <clears throat> it's resting in his palm. You don't know if it's connected. I wonder if that orb serves any purpose. Perhaps we should take a look further. What kind of purpose do you have in mind? Who knows? Is it attached to the hand or just resting upon it? Perhaps your pull can tell us, Sterling. I think anybody that's in the middle of that should not be in the middle if we're going to be touching the orb. Good point. I will move back, Kelly. 
So I'll move back uh, <clears throat> 10, 10 feet. Yep. Okay. You like. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, this way. This way? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, right there. Um, out, out of the middle. Why are you still um, out of the middle? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, out of okay, the middle I'll, in that brown spot. I'll yeah, but the statues well. are over there. And we're touching the right. Are we not going to go after those? He's holding an orb? Yeah. 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 In his okay. hand. In his, in his hand. hand. Yeah. Okay, I'm scared you're going to fall through that, you wanna try and that different your, colored uh, floor. One hand is on the wolf, and the other hand is holding this orb. We'll see. Okay. All right, so... From so where is the orb? Where then? If he, he's not holding the orb. Yeah. So it's one hand's on the wolf. One hand holds the orb. Oh, the orb. Okay. So from around where Dimitri is, mm -hmm. would I be able to poke the orb with the ten foot pole? Uh, or is yeah. that a weird vantage point no, to do that? No, you could. All right. Yeah, so I'll from come either around side. to the side of Dimitri, and I'm gonna poke the orb with a ten foot pole. Mm. <clears throat> that sounds. I'm gonna step back. Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, like, right. like from this side or from you this side? You ask permission first. Yeah, exactly. Gonna... Dinner? Um, like, <laughs> like there? <laughs> Just okay. going for it. <laughs> I'll, I'll say to Sterling. I'm very proud of you. You're being very brave. <laughs> Sterling's doing it from right beside the statue? Is this where you meant to go? No, I think he wanted to be where you are. If I so had a heart, away. it would be pounding. Oh, okay. <laughs> so are you going to move out of the way? Yeah. Here, yeah, you're trying to get through? Let me just get you some room. Okay. So you can actually, well, from, from there, both you hit the orb if you want. <laughs> okay. Okay. Give me a, um, well, a, a slight hand check because check, you're trying to okay. kind of like... Connect with it from a distance. Yeah, I want to see if it's if it's loose what? or if it's attached. I, sure. oh, I just don't think that poking an orb is a good idea. Well, seven. Um, it takes you a little time, mm -hmm. and you're just trying to poke it, and it slips, and it hits the orb, and the ro orb rolls off the hand, <laughs> and hits the ground. Yeah. Yep. 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 Sterling! Yep. What are you doing? Um, and it hits the ground and it starts to roll. Which, which, which direction? It's, it's, it rolls to basically right about here. <laughs> I'd like you all to make perception checks, yes. please. Oh. <laughs> Girls. Come on! I'm not 13. using this one anymore. 19. So I brought backups. Uh, nine. Wait. 10 and um, what? What I added to perception. sorry. Perception. Perception. Skills. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm yep. losing it. No worries. What'd you get? Nine. Four. Plus 14. 14? Okay. Yep. Um, 19. 15. Okay. You. Um, <clears throat> Everybody dies. <laughs> Not everybody. Oh! <laughs> Rocks fall. <laughs> Orbs fall. Orbs fall. <laughs> everybody dies. <laughs> I am so afraid right now. Um. <clears throat> Callie. Oh, come on! Yeah, yeah, it's Callie. Callie died. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew you just you don't go around touching people's orbs. Says the woman that was feeling the sacks. So when I was smelling sacks. <laughs> Smell the sacks, just don't touch the orbs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gosh. Just, you feel Yes. What do you feel? A cold <laughs> sensation yeah. on your back. I oh. do. Um, so cold that it chills your very soul. Mm -hmm. You take nine points <gasps> of necrotic damage. Oh, that's okay. But no. as you, as it touches you, yep. you feel this warmth counteract it. You only take half because yeah. you're resistant exactly. to necrotic. Exactly. <sighs> yeah, um, I am. How many? So that'd be uh, four points. Yeah. Okay. Fine. But. Yep. You start to feel weakened <gasps> as your strength is reduced by three points. Oh. Your strength score is reduced by three points. Wow! So you can you can tell her that? Yep. Um, so you just go to your main... Oh. Over here, at And as you turn around, you see this looming shadow that stands behind you. I'd like you all to roll initiative. What oh. the? Come on. So you're gonna have to do your strength of seven? You've got to be kidding me. So you're... I negative, don't have a lot of strength. Just one. Yeah. I'm negative, negative three. three. Yeah, so now oh, you're, so now it's four. So now you're at four. Oh. Total score of four. But you're gonna have to change this back after, or uh, assuming you don't die. <laughs> Under uh, whatever condition you would get that back. Yeah. 
What? I gotta roll this thing? Okay. Eventually. Uh, Eventually. Uh, We're doing initiative, yes. yes. So, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Ding! Ding! Yeah. Somebody Plus, just hit okay. me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, 20 to 25? Nope. That's fine. Oh, man, guys. 15 to 20. Uh, no. <laughs> Seriously? 10 to 15. 10. 14. You sound disappointed. 14, 10. Alpha, you're, you're doing good on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 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 what is it? What's the next one? Five to 10? Nine. Six. <laughs> wow. Wait, and five. And last again? Sorry, Three. five. Oh, five. man. That dexterity. <laughs> Come on. I'm also rolling really low, too. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you rolled a zero on your initiative? That's yes. <laughs> oh, this large, shadowy figure oh, you guys you. see is behind Callie. Um, all of a sudden, you see another one dip from behind oh. one of these pillars, Oof. and it comes down like this along the ground, almost like a moving shadow, yeah. and comes up on Felfer <gasps> here and attacks. Ah! Felfer, no! No! I think a 23 probably hits. No, no, it doesn't hit. Sorry, I, <laughs> I am rolling Just this really one. well. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're lucky. You take four points of necrotic damage. Oh. I roll two ones. Wow. Um, wow. And I'd like you to make a end. Sorry. Your strength is is oh. deducted by one. Make sure that you do that. That uh, did you do the yeah. Yeah, strength deduction? Yeah. You yeah. deducted by one. Yeah. Callie, yeah. this one is also going to attack at you again. You turn to see it, yeah. and it is this looming shadow up yeah. above you. Yeah. I think a twenty three is going to hit again. <gasps> I am on fire here. I'm sorry, guys. Four, five, six, seven points of necrotic damage. You only take four again, as your Asamar trait. Um, round it up or round it down? Uh, round it down. So, uh, uh, yeah, she takes four only. She's supposed to take another. Sorry, my, my, I decrement how much on my strength? By two? Yes. Okay. No, one. One. Uh, one. Okay. Yeah. One. Uh, Falfa, you're up. Rowan, you're on deck. Okay. okay. I'm going to... Oh, wait a second. Did our short mm. rest give us back spell slots? No. 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 Short rest, no. No, short rest, still. Okay, I'm... Going to did any of you spend hit dice to get the hit points back? I did. I didn't need to. Okay. I, I did. Okay. Yeah. Then you marked that off. Did yeah. you have them? I did. Okay. I didn't okay. see where to mark so off the hit dice. I'm though. I'm going to um I'm going to take an action in your hit points. Roll and and try to do uh <sighs> oh, crap. No, I'm going to take an action to load one bolt because <laughs> you hadn't loaded them. Yeah, because I forgot to load. <laughs> you load a bolt and you fire. You load a bolt and fire. Okay. okay. Uh, that's 12. Uh, with a 12 is a hit. Oh! Just. Wow! The bolt goes through, and it kind of um, passes through it, slows down slightly, but continues to go past it. It seems like it does less damage than you expect a bolt to do. Okay. Roll your damage. Yep. Uh, that's nine. Okay. Uh, Rowan, you're up, Sterling, you're on deck. Yeah, so as I see the approach Falfar, I'll, uh, oh yeah, Falfar, look out! And then I'm gonna whip around and I'm gonna cast an Eldritch Blast okay. uh, at the shadow. It's force damage, and it is a 23. 23 is a hit. And the damage will be nine force damage. Nice. Wow. Um, uh, it takes a full blast of this of this eldritch blast as it st- staggers back. Sorry, how much did it do? Nine. nine force and you did damage. it to uh, this that one, one right here. That was the one that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, immediately disappears. Oh. Thank goodness. Um. Sterling, you're up. Callie, you're on deck. Have we passed uh, dawn? Oh, good question. What time of day is it? I want to know if I can use daylight uh, again. Oh, shoot. I have to do the math in my head now. Um, yes, you would have since you, because you guys took a long rest after you found the drift globe, Didn't right? Didn't we use it after the, we, after we, the long rest? We used it after, after the long, long rest, rest. so, so I guess... like an hour or two. 
so it hasn't been long enough to yeah, yeah to be the next dawn. I was just not wondering because it says at dawn, no, so yeah. I'm trying to be a stickler guys, I think for the word. What time is it outside? Yeah. No, <laughs> That's what I'm not saying, not right? Almost. It's approaching, but not yet. All right. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop my ten foot pole and grab my crossbow and I'm gonna fire it at that one. Can I see it? Um, is it within the yep. twenty feet? Yeah, you're good. Uh, it's not within 20 feet. Dim, but like sure. from the from the yes, from I would say over here. You can see just on the out, just on the outskirts. All yeah. right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot. And you will not hurt my Cali. <laughs> my Cali. <laughs> I. That's a critical fail. Uh, <laughs> you will hurt your Cali. <laughs> I. It's my job. <laughs> the string on your crossbow snaps. <gasps> oh. 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 All right. <laughs> Does anybody have an extra round? Uh, okay. Well. Do you want to move? I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Callie, you're up. Dimitri, what? you're on deck. Uh, wow. Okay. Sorry, what does a disengage mean? Uh, so you can leave without getting it, it, it without it attacking you. You yeah. can attack first, yeah, and okay. then you can move. So, okay, so I want to... Um, Short bow? No, I, you're too close for short bow. You're oh. gonna get disadvantage on it. Oh, is use that? Your daggers. Oh, yeah. sorry. So just attack twice with your daggers then? Yeah. Well, to. not twice because I want to do a dagger and then I want to disengage. You can still attack with two. Oh. In one turn. Oh, yeah. it doesn't count as a bonus. No, it, the the second hand action counts as a bonus action. The cunning action uses your bonus action. The second attack is a bonus action. Offhand sure? is a bonus action. Yeah. You're positive. Offhand. I'm like ninety five percent sure. Okay. What is we'll this? make that call. We'll check after. Okay, yeah. what do you want me okay, to do? Okay, so attack once. Okay. Six. Okay, a six is not enough. A six plus five? Yeah. Still not enough. Uh, your your dagger passes through yeah. as if it wasn't even there, and then you're going to disengage. Where are you going to go? Oh, as far back as I can go. How many, like... <laughs> run past us. <laughs> and you can run well, no. Bye, boys. 25, 30, you're back. Yeah, like, I okay. do. You're yeah, out. I'm out. I can't be... <laughs> now I'm the one. Okay. Dimitri, you're up. Okay. <laughs> I can't be. Um, I'm just going to run right up to it. Oh, gosh. Yep. And swipe with my sword. Okay, do it. Natural 20. Nicely nice. done. You are behind okay. fire. Wait, yeah. What would you say that is? Because it's like on an angle. That's a DM it's, side. It's that. Yeah, that would be an 8. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that's okay, though. So it's a 14. Which that's a hit. Hits. Yeah, that's yeah. a hit. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, ten. Uh, okay. And as you sw swing through it, same thing. You feel some resistance, but it only takes five points of damage from him. Mm. Um, it uh, uh, puts its hands basically around your neck um, and attempts to attack. What's your armor class again? I think a 22 is going to hit. Um, that is well. going to be... Oh, dear. <laughs> 11 points of necrotic damage. Okay. And you take two off your strength score. Yeah. Um, as you feel this unbelievable cold as it its hands basically dig into your person, <laughs> and then uh, you feel incredibly weak all of a sudden. Like your whole countenance has, oh, that's really has that's dropped really and dipped. My whole countenance has dropped and dipped. <laughs> <laughs> you look pale, you're up. Adam. Rowan, you're uh, on deck. <laughs> I... How much did you lose? 11. Oh. I'm gonna... Lose strong. Yeah. I'm gonna hide. Two. Okay. Oh. You're gonna hide? You're out? Yeah. In order to hide, attempt to hide, you have to be out of eyesight of the person that you can't just hide in plain sight. I have to um, be within someone else's range who is one size Oh, because you can hide behind people. That's right. That's yep. correct. Yeah. So, so who are you going to hide I'm going to hide behind Roan. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you? Give me a stealth check, please. To attempt to hide, and that is an action. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's a nine. Okay. All right. So you don't know how well you're doing, but you kind of dip behind them and, okay. and, and stay. Okay. Uh... Rowan, you're up. Sterling, you're on deck. <laughs> Watch me run away. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll leave you. Out. <laughs> no, um, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, attempt to eldritch blast that uh, that uh, being as well. Okay. So you just turn towards him and yeah. 
Let it rip. And flame another blasted shadow. Uh, that's 17. That's a hit. The chosen day. <gasps> what is so it? So amazing. Yeah. Nine I, force I damage. Okay. Nine force damage. Um, it hits the being again, takes its full brunt, and almost takes out like its midsection, and it starts to form back, but slower than it did originally. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's obviously not doing well at all. Um, all nine Sterling, you're up. Callie, you're on deck. <laughs> all okay. nines. All right. Sterling, what do you want to do? Uh, well, I'm going to stow my crossbow since it's useless now. Um, yeah. I, I'm not, well, I could use it as a bludgeoning weapon. You could still use it as a bludgeoning weapon. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not going to. just using your sword instead. Yeah, I've got a sword, so I'm yeah. going to use that. So I'm going to um, gingerly walk up to it, and okay. uh, I'm going to take this die. I'm going to throw it away, and I'm yeah. going to use a different die. And... Yes. Mm-hmm. All right, that's better. Yeah. Um, that is a 19 to hit. That's a hit. Okay, and woo, max damage, that's 10. Okay, Ooh. how do you want to finish the shadow? Yay! Yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be like, don't touch Callie! And I'm gonna Not slice me. right down through shadow through. It disappears. Yeah. And you are now out of initiative Yay. order. Yeah. So, deeply oh. breathing, I'm like, Definitely need some rest. Mm-hmm. You're all feeling really weary at this point. Beaten, broken. I don't know what that thing did to me. I feel so weak now. We have pushed this too far. We should find a place to rest. We need somewhere to rest. I, what, what did that orb end up doing anyway? Just summons per- shadow fighters? Perhaps it just bothered them by the fact that it dropped. Uh, is it right in front of me? Yep. They might have already I'm going been to, coming. Uh, Lean down and pick it up. Yep. You're crazy. It's an inanimate uh, <laughs> crystal orb. It's probably worth about 20, 25 gold. Perhaps it's just that we inter- that we messed with the room, but. Uh, this is probably worth something. I'm throwing my backpack. Okay. Okay. I go and pick up my 10-foot pole again. Okay. I, <laughs> I feel very weary right now. Maybe we could uh, maybe sit down for, for a little bit. Do you want to do that here or somewhere else? No. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe back in the other room where we were. I agree. There is only one entrance there. We can keep an eye on the door much easier. All right. Uh, uh, did anyone uh, want to join us? Uh, yes, I am fearing, fearing that if I do not get the rest, I will not make it through. Let's go back. Yeah, yeah let's go. Okay, so you guys are going to head back to that room to yeah, where you yes, work? Okay. Yeah, this rest. Uh, with your 21, you know that uh, it's not magical uh, in nature, but you can use it as an arcane focus, potentially. Or oh. somebody could be using it oh, as an arcane yeah. focus, okay? You guys head back to the room. We don't have to move all your... Uh, uh, where are you guys going to be in the room? Uh, I'm going to... Same place. In the bed I'm, again. Like, I'm beside all that kind of stuff. Okay. Well asked question. Okay. I will be same spot as before bed. Okay. Okay. Um, so you guys all... Hunker down again for another short rest. Yeah. Uh, you spend the next. Ap- well, well, I won't be resting. Okay. I don't need to. So okay. yeah. I'll just be taking okay. active yeah, watch. I don't need to rest okay. either. You guys spend another hour or so, um, just not doing much. Mm-hmm. Um, again, you feel weakened. At the end of that hour, you get your strength back. Okay. okay. Um, you all feel like so the over that back? hour, yes, you start to gain some of your composure, <gasps> and all of a sudden you're starting to feel like yourself again. And while these three are uh, resting, I want to walk up to uh, Sterling and talk okay. to him for a moment. Okay. Mm. You yes. handled yourself very well there, boy. I appreciate that, but I cannot take all the credit. This body seems to have its own knowledge and understanding of combat. Is that true? As I've found it so far, it seems to be so. Very interesting. I noticed you lost one of your weapons. Broke a string. Yes. Um, I'm going to reach out around my back and I'm gonna, like, unclamber off my crossbow and uh, I'm gonna push against your chest and say, seems like it would do better with you than me. And then I'm gonna walk, turn around and walk back to my corner and sit down. Okay. Mm. Right? You have my crossbow. Thank you. Uh, 20 volts. Is a light crossbow? 
And mine. Oh, and mine, not. <laughs> and um, mine. With the string broken on, on my crossbow, does it not look like there's a way to repair it? I have to find a replacement string or go to a store to buy one or something? Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing I can do right now. You can now. try and fix it. Okay. You can absolutely try. Um, light crossbow. So a light crossbow. Roll. Okay, so that's the same as what I have. Go here. Go back okay. here. Um, You're good. Sterling, give me a perception check yeah, while you're resting. Just, just, sir. Um, just take that out. Yep. And then it's good. 22. Okay. Uh, Cal, give me a perception check. That's 21 for me. Oh, sorry, you said Sterling. Not that's at all. Okay. Uh, 14 and um, perception is. Thank you. Um, plus 4. 18. 18. Mm hmm. Um, Callie, mm -hmm. you hear. Callie. Sterling, I hear the voices. What voices? The voices that you heard. I've heard a few different voices. <laughs> the little kid voices. Oh, they're good voices. I don't know. I don't hear them, right? Even with my 22? Okay. Then... Callie? Yes? What are they saying? <laughs> my name? Just my name? You can ask them questions. As you kind of stand here, you see a flitter of movement pass in the other room. We played with Sterling. We'd like you to make you our friend, too. Yeah, this, this, this sounds fishy. Well, what do you, what do you want me to do? Follow, follow me, here. And you see a little silhouette come and do this and then back behind that corner. <laughs> like by myself? Can I bring a friend? We like Sterling. Sterling, will you come with me? Yes. Okay. Okay. You guys head that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> this way? Yeah. Sterling goes first. Can Sterling go first? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, you turn that corner. Yeah. And on the table. Yep. Um, you see a blue bag. Love with blue bags. Blue. <laughs> I love blue bags. With blue angel wings. Yeah. Embroidered into them. Okay. We thought you might need this. Yeah. Can I go? And that's it. That's all you hear. Okay. There's a there's a bag on the on the table. What do you do? I do. I have um. Can I do a... Uh, what are you trying to... Just tell me what you're trying to do. Oh, and I sorry. Tell you what to I just want to see... Can I sense if, if there's any... Check. Yeah. If there's anything bad in the yeah. bag? Yeah. Check for how... 14 plus yeah. 4? 18? That's, that's enough to know that this is the bag like every other that you've received from these ethereal... And they've been good. Children. Yeah, I want to pick up the bag. I want to open the bag pick up. Pick up the bag. It's actually quite heavy. Okay. You open it up, and there is a dagger inside. Yeah. It's sheathed. Yeah. And I want to thank everyone else again. Yeah. At the end of last session, we hit our first $1,000 extra life goal, and you now have in your hands a plus one dagger. Yes. yes. Magical dagger. Magical. Okay. Cool. I put that in my equipment here. Okay. Mm, yeah. yeah. I do? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. You and Sterling are there, and she puts it in her. She sees it. She puts it in her bag. High five. Tink! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it Kay. was. I'm glad Kay. that they don't just talk to me. <laughs> We're both going crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay, what do you guys do? I'll go back in the you room. You guys have your rest. Yep. They walk back into the room. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? Is there like a special dagger thing here? Did you guys use any hit dies that you I'll added to you? I just did, okay. yeah. Um, is there no way we can take a long rest? I would love to get my spells back. You can only use one in 24 yeah. hours. Oh, right. Yeah. Enough. Right, yeah. and we've done that already. Yeah, we, we, we got like another 20 hours to go or something. Ah! Are we past dawn at this point? Or not yes. there yet? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Okay, all right, so I'll have another use of daylight soon. Yeah, then. Okay. You know. So. So I guess we can head back <laughs> what do you guys through? do? Head back <clears throat> through? I yeah. Guess? It uh, seems like the last place might be those stairs. Was there stairs? Yes, around the corner. Where we didn't go through. Oh. Yeah. That uh, that one way when we were fighting those other those other zombie-like creatures. Do you not want to find out what that statue was with the man 
with the arm and the wolf. Is there any way we can investigate that further? Ah, well, if you if you think it has some use, and we actually, might that that is a good idea, I believe. I would like to memorize the face. Maybe we will uh, see this face again, or have seen it in the if the paintings in this home already. Exactly. Yes. All right, then let's let's go back to that room and be very careful. The shadows came out of nowhere last time. Absolute. How many hit points did you have? Hit points? Yeah. How many do I have left? No, how many did you have? Because I, I just changed 20. the math at that point. Didn't you get injured in that? Well, now I'm at 12. Yeah. Yeah, 12 now. Yeah, now I have 12. I have, yeah. You rolled your hit die. I don't know what that means. Yes, so... Yeah, you get, get her to do that, and one, I'm just going to add her... her plus one Where is it? Rogue's this one dagger. Yeah, D8. So you're going to oh sorry 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 sorry, sorry. go back. Yeah. You can just uh, do you want me to put everybody in this room again? Yes, yes please. Sure. Uh, I'll be uh, next to the statue memorizing this its guy. face. Mm-hmm. You're gonna add the number you get to that. Mm-hmm. And why did I get why is that going up? Because you rested. Okay. Can you can you help nice. her add that dagger just so we can move on here? Yes. Um, right, I gotta add six. Yeah. So this so Okay, oh. so <laughs> you guys head jeez. <laughs> what if you're yeah. done? Uh, okay, so you guys head back into that room. Four. Do you guys do anything in that 12, room before moving 40, 50, 50, 50, 50. on? Yeah, I want to look at the uh, statue as it's well. It's got to go to 18, and, uh, right? Get a good, good glance, mm-hmm. at it, just like Sterling is. Yeah, we're trying to, to memorize what the statue yeah, looks like. I did it okay. wrong. And I want to investigate. Is there anything the on the statue? Check? Or it, yeah. So <laughs> is its arm a lever? <laughs> Why? Well, like, is there anything on it? You know, I don't. If I we don't carry know. it, will it scare away the bad guys? Uh, yes, yeah, so that's nine. Um, with a nine, just what I mentioned before, painted statue, uh, gaunt, pale man, long hair. Seems to be wearing a black cloak. All right, I I just want to take a really good note of his face. Okay. Um, All right. I can't see what it looks like right now, but... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Are you guys going to move on? What's the uh, plan, Hops? Uh, if you want to, here, just leave it here for now. We're okay. Gonna be moving on anyway. Do you want to sure. do anything? Um, yeah, I'll take a good look at his face too. Okay. Do you, you guys take note? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. You guys. And, and it doesn't look like any of the faces in any of the portraits or anything we've seen. Nothing you've seen before. Uh, it doesn't look you like do. the. No, you do not recognize him. All right. All right. Well, there's this Is other way out. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gustav Durst. There's this other way out through this side of the room. Should we uh, make it back to the hallway from there? Yes, let us be careful. And I get the 10-foot pole out again. Okay. And uh, I'll be pushing Driffles in front of me. Push Driffles. Yeah. All right, so you guys head down this way, uh, down the corridor, and down this side corridor. And remember, eventually there were stairs at the end. Okay. Yes. So you guys, give me a marching order at the stairs, please. Just Are the so stairs going you up or down? Forth. Down. Um, down. Another level. And again, the stairs now um, are. Uh, as you approach the stairs, the chanting uh, gets louder. Mm. Can we understand the language? Uh, did did, did any of you put on those cloaks other than me? Um, I, I was passing them out before. Well, we didn't through. put them on. Um, I would put one on, but I, I look too much like Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have them? It's not a bad thing. Do you uh, have them or they're there? Like Yeah, I, ha- I never said that we put them on, but I was I had the idea. Can we collect them? Yeah, like I'll shove one in my backpack if we... Or do we have to go back to the room and then... Yeah, oh, you're wearing one. We can speed it. So what do you guys... Okay. Who's wearing one? Who's uh, wearing the robes? I'm wearing the, robe. the, the protection. The nice and one. And who's wearing the other two robes? I'll, I'll put a robe on. Okay, okay I'll a put robe one on, on too. Yeah. You got a robe on too. Okay, yeah. great. Um, okay, so you guys start to head down the stairs? Yeah. So they go lower. Yeah. Down. They go down. That's yeah, and you can hear that this is this seems to be where the chanting is coming from. Mm-hmm. Do you guys hear that? Yes. Can I understand it's it? It's stronger. It seems to go 20 feet down, you can see, by the end of your, and then it continues on. And they definitely originate. The ghostly chants definitely originate from somewhere below. Do I understand it? I am celestial. No. No. Okay. You guys can't make out what it is yet. Okay. Oh, wow. Does, does it, it? It is a chant. It's not a song. It's, it's a like, chant. So the uh, rhythm is the same. It seems like it's chanting the same thing over and over again, <laughs> but you can't make it out. It just whispers at this point. So an English football very game. Quiet. I agree with you. Okay. Give me all stealth checks as you guys start down the stairs. 
I think I'm around this side. 10. 15. 9. 25. 25? Yeah. Oh, sheesh. I got 18 plus 7. Yeah, it's amazing. I get my disadvantage, so oh, wow. I'm at a 9. That's incredible. you got to use that more. <clears throat> okay, your okay. guys are going to have to control miniatures here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what your order was. You're gonna go all the way down the stairs to the foot of the stairs. Yeah. 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 With sticky. Okay. Tell you me what, tell me what your order is. You gotta be quiet though. Sterling. Watch your... Me. Callie. What was your stealth check? Nine. Okay. So not so quiet. Nine. Okay. You want me in the back? Uh, no. You know. Sorry. Uh, Rowan camera. was in the back. Camera. Yeah. Sorry. Rowan was in the back. You were. You were next. I was in front of you. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, the ghostly chant emanating has, has, has really raised now. And you can discern a dozen or so voices saying over and over, He is the ancient. He is the land. It also appears that several relics are stored in 13, 13 niches, niches along the walls. And relics of all different kinds. And basically, there's a passage going that way and a passage to the right. No sign of the chanters? No. Uh, can you just tilt it up so we can see the whole of the room? The room? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to stop and rolls? What's that? What do you guys want to do? I want the rest of the stall throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Natural one. Okay. Oh, dear. 15. Okay. Uh, you guys are not doing so good. 10 for me. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. What you guys are kind of nervous. You're scared. There's tink, tink, tink of this pole going down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you guys do? Um, oops. Uh, hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. He's uh, looking at the map for everyone at home. First, Who right? wonders why yeah, he's staring at the yeah. camera? <laughs> okay, sorry, that was worse than well. Can you, can you so. uh, just pat down that a little bit, just so <laughs> uh, so we can? I don't know if we can this? see it if we fold it a little bit. See what? what do you just want? so he can see from there. Oh, because oh, right. he can't see because the the fabric's in the way. Oh, all right. I, I can see. see okay right now. Can you see? No, I can't see it. Okay. That's, that's, fine. Really that's fine. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. All, right. All right. So, like I said, large room, niches, niches in the wall with relics of some sort. Okay. okay. Can I uh, take a close look at the relics? Yeah. Same here. Just... Sure. Well, uh, you have to get to a relic to look close at it. So, which where do you want to head? Okay. I'll go along the left side and okay. get to the first relic I get to. Okay. So, and I'll yeah. pass him forward. I'll yeah. skitter through yeah. them yeah. and stay behind his leg. Again. Okay. This time I'm not first. Okay. Just behind. Got it. Got it. First, first relic. Like you come to, it looks like a small mummified yellow hand with sharp claws on a loop of rope. Hmm. I have no idea. The hand of Vecna. What kidding. this means. <laughs> small. Okay, sorry. Monkey's paw. Small claw Monkey, hand. Monkey's paw. A small claw hand. Mm. Um, this is very strange. Can I uh, try to identify it? Give me a nature check. A nine. Nope. Nine. Uh, can I try? Yeah. Should we uh, keep moving into the room so uh, Kelly yeah. and I yeah. can Ten. Ten. far enough so that everybody can be in there? Ten. 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 Uh, no. Okay. Hmm. You've never seen the creature that this applies to. Okay. This uh, is a very I'll, strange I'll ornament. ornament. Sure. Hmm. I cannot. I could not nope. identify it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna clean up here, boys. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll look at it. Pull our butts out of the fire. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you guys have no idea what this is. And that's okay. all I'm going to allow? I'll go I'll to the next one. Okay. Um, uh, Dimitri, yeah. come see this one as well. It looks like a, a knife made of bone. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, I will say this. They do love the items made out of body parts, don't they? <laughs> it may be the only material they have. That's Make true. sure that you guys are moving along the, the wall as you, as you oh. go. By the way, now that I'm down here, what can I see? Um, oh, yeah. That's right. Yes, good girl. You see that the hallway ends at a dead end there. Uh, you do see some sort of entrance there, but you don't know what it is. Right. Down this way, because you're in a position where you can see. Let's put this. Just for a second. Yeah, just. You see what seems to be some sort of prison room. 
you see right to the end to a cage, and there seems to be some, some here. Why don't I do this? Why don't yeah. I move? Point it down there. This way. Sorry, production, we're... There. Okay. I can't see that far. What do you what do you want to do is So you guys do you guys want to basically look at the rest of the yeah, relics all, in all here? Yeah. You guys walk around carefully. Doesn't seem to be any traps or anything like that. Okay. There's a dagger with a rat skull set into its pommel. Uh, an eight inch diameter varnished orb. Does it look like the other orb? No. No. Uh, you can make it I'll tell you what they what what all, all is there and you can tell me what you guys want to investigate. Cool. Um an aspergillum carved from bone that's used for like incense, you know, like oh, used to use. Oh, okay. uh, a folded cloak made from st- some sort of stitched skin. You think it's ghoul skin from what you saw earlier. A desiccated frog lashed to a stick. Uh, a bag full of some sort of nasty uh, uh, hardened substance, but it sm- smells not very good. A severed finger. A six inch tall wooden figurine of a mummy, its arms crossed over its chest. An iron pendant adorned with a devil's face. The shrunken, shriveled head of some sort of creature, and a small wooden coffer containing a withered tongue. Okay. Any of those you guys want to investigate closer? Mm. I just throw up in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Can I uh, do an archaeology check on the uh, the second one, the, uh, dag- the bone dagger? Yep. Yep. This is I'll give you an archaeology check over all of them as you start to kind oh, of look yeah. through them. How long are you guys taking in here? Um, Some time, I imagine. It's it's been at least ten minutes so far. That you guys have just kind of look, like glanced at it, walked around, looked at them. Mm. I'm not keeping any of these. It's like a museum exhibit. Eleven. Uh, on that. Doesn't ball. seem magical. What did you check? The bone dagger. I do not want it. It's too disgusting. Yes. Probably used it to cut out the finger. Um, do you want like an overall, or or is that? Uh, it depends on how much time you want to take. I want to look at to, to to really look at them all and do an arcana check. You probably take about twenty minutes. I'll go. Uh, Sterling. Yes. Will you want to go down this hallway with me? I'll go with you. Okay. I'll stay and start examining. Okay. So you're going to continue examine. Who's going the other way? Should we separate? They are just in the room. It'll be fine. Which hallway? Wait. We're I w- this way, right? Yeah. Yeah. We won't uh, go down this way. I'll come. Okay. okay, I will walk behind them. Okay, marching order. Sterling first. Sterling Is first. Sterling going? I don't know if Sterling's going. Yeah. Dimitri's going. I'm going, uh, but I won't go if the drift globe's not going. Are you okay if fun. I bring the drift globe with us? Well, perhaps you should leave me a source of light. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps you already see in the dark. What kind of man could do that? Uh, a man whose eyes turn black in the dark. <laughs> I do still suspect that you can see in the dark. Mark. Can you see in the dark? That's ridiculous. And even if I could, yes. not saying I can, why would I tell you? I don't know, but the, well, here's why. Because we might need the drift globe, and you may not. What if that I, is why. What if I brighten the globe? Yes. Then if it comes with me, yes, it will be bright enough for everyone. Turn it the brightest you possibly can. Okay. The dawn cometh. <laughs> it is now a beacon. How, how, how close yeah. are you to right now? 60 feet to 120 feet. Right there. I'm going to start going back yeah. and, st- and like yeah. stumble backwards yeah. and like... Yeah, we'll corner, make it yeah. pretty obvious. Yeah, <laughs> he does not like the light. Okay. Uh, I could have used a little warning, too. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So you basically now, guys, yeah. you all see it halfway up that tunnel. Like up here? Yeah. Basically okay. there. All right. Sh- shall we go down? They will know we are coming now. Yes, of course. How long will it be that bright? Well, until I turn it off for an hour. Okay. That's pretty good. He is the ancient. He is the land. You guys hear this over and over again. It's not he coming is the closer, ancient. right? He is the land. Okay. Um, can we go down that hallway, like I said? Uh, yeah. Let's try. Yes. Let's go. When I get to that opening of that hallway, I'm oh, just going to listen to see if I can tell if it's getting louder or quieter still. once I get Because he'll still have the, light going into that hall. It goes quieter. 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 Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall far behind. Okay. Um, how far you guys want to go? Um, 
Oh, no. You got your stick? I do. Reception check? Or, uh, uh, you investigation check, actually. Ooh. Mm, 17. Okay. Nothing so far. You can go all the way up to the where the uh, where the the mouth of the yeah. So you guys can see into that room. Mm. Oh, what does Gosh. it look like? What does it look like? Um, it seems like some sort of prison. Mm. Uh, you do see that there are shackles at the back of each of these alcoves. There's shackles at the back of, the, of these two alcoves. Mm. Uh, there are shackles within the prison cells, and there are chains on the other side that you can basically use a pulley to open up the door. Uh, and then there is a big cage at the back, a big uh, metal cage. Do we see any um, sign of anything within? There is a skeleton shackled to... Um, Back of here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there anything? That's it. Is there anything in that cage? An investigation check. Eight. No, not that you see. It's empty. Uh, old hay, some mold, kind of whatever. This is very old. Nobody's been here in a very long time. Same as everywhere else. Can I check this area for traps? Yeah. Give me an investigation check. Yeah, nothing you can see. What do you guys do? I'm not certain there's anything of worth here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well. And the the skeleton that's uh, still chained up to the back is wearing tattered black robes that look like the same black robes that you guys, some of you were wearing. They've killed their own. Hmm. Maybe. Seems there is so many body parts and uh, ritual elements, and things like that down here. We should perhaps uh, make haste into some other area. Can I inspect the body? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you notice yeah. actually very yeah. clearly My, that the uh, right hand of the skeleton has a gold ring on it. Right, sixty feet dim. So I think you're okay. On one of its bony fingers. Mm, I look really closely at it. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to try to wiggle it off. Yeah, it comes right off because it's just in the bone. It's loose. So it's just a, it's a gold. Now you have a gold ring. Hmm. No. What is that? It's a gold ring that the skeleton was wearing. Oh, my. Uh, what is it worth? Or is it... Uh... Well, let me see. You need intelligence check. Does it... Um... Four. Um, it just looks like a gold ring. Mm. Not a gold ring. Okay. It looks worth something. Pass it here. I will uh, attempt to mm. identify it myself. Sure. Investigation check. Investigation. Ah, 23. Uh, it is just a gold ring. Nothing special about it except that it's worth about 25 gold. It's worth something. It's worth about 25 gold. There well. you go. Good find. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll hold on to it for now. Do the, the cages open? Do these? Uh, yeah, there's so there's a there's a chain on the other side with a pulley. If you pull it down, it'll lift the cage. You imagine? Should we return to Rhone? We venture into the belly of the beast. Do, can we just look in in them? Go closer to it and yeah. look in to to see if there's anything yeah. in there. Yeah, give me a perception check. Uh, twenty-two. With a twenty-two. Um, you notice that there is actually a bit of a gap in between, in, in the back of the wall. You look at both of them, and the wall at the back of that cell looks different. This one? Yeah, than the other one does. There's something different about it. Hmm. Um, okay, well, I just, hey guys, this wall looks different. What do you mean? Yeah, what, explain. I don't know what his house looks like. Um, it looks like a, fake, a false wall. It, it doesn't look like um, a hard wall like the other ones. Looks like I, we could possibly push it to open it up. Really? Oh, interesting. Who, how do we keep this gate open? Oh, well, so can I just pull up the yep. pull up the thing? And it's rusty, takes a little bit to do, but you're able to op- eventually open it up. Okay. And the, the, yeah, and the gate, and the gate opens up like that. Um, um, Sterling, can you bring your pole over here? Yes. Can you poke at the wall? Yes. So I do that. Like now? You you push against (laughs) it, it doesn't push. Like it. Hmm. It is not moving. Hmm. 
Perhaps we have to really hit it. Or maybe it's like the uh, library where the book was the key to opening yeah. it. Mm, good who, point. Who yeah. wants to fiddle with the wall? Uh, uh, um, you should do it, Gary. Are you certain I've this seen, is wise? I've seen, you, I've seen your uh, skills with the locks and fixing, pickings. That's Remember true. the boxes? Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you go up so, to it and you start to push it. Yeah, and or it like move. just touch everything. Yeah, and so you grab the shackles and it actually. <laughs> and it opens. It pulls. Well done, open. Kelly! Yes! Until something pops out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. Can I then jump back? Yeah, you can move back. Once you've opened it, you move back? Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, no, no, we should be very quiet. We don't know who's in this area. Yeah. We also should not leave Roan. Roan! Perhaps we should leave Roan. Uh, you <laughs> see that you through this kidding. opening, there's a, sh- a, a, a small hallway that ends in another what looks like a brick wall. Not brick, sorry, like mud, stone, mixed. But we can see through now, right? Yeah, so you can see through. Yeah, too. but then it, it just it goes, it goes ten feet to another to another wall. Does, is the chanting louder now, or is it? Um, slightly. As soon as you open this, it actually got a little louder in here. Okay, I will <laughs> go back as far as the light is. Yeah. And mention to Roan, yeah. we found a secret entrance. I think it may lead to the chanting. Have I had enough time to uh, give a good overview uh, while they were fiddling around in this room? Um, yeah, yeah. So what do you? What else did you want to look at uh, during I that time? There wasn't a lot of time. Look as many as I can. Uh, well, uh, tell me which item specifically, and then I can tell you if, I remember. if you can remember them. Uh, the severed finger. The severed finger, I remember. Yeah, so the severed finger looks like what you... Uh, well, give me an investigation check, overall investigation, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, that's 11. Okay, with an 11, you imagine... Uh, it, it's weird, it's like long and whatever. You've heard of hags and witches, you, you think... It, it reminds you of some sort of witch's finger of some sort. Do um, I suspect it could be magical, then? No, none of this is actually magical. Okay. They all just seem like relics, collection, uh, collection collected items. Do I um, think they're worth anything then? Perhaps a little bit, but mm. probably not that much. They're old. Some okay. of them are rusted. Uh, I'll give you a couple of things that you find. Um, you know, you've heard of, a, of something called a wand of polymorph, mm-hmm. and the desiccated frog lashed to a stick looks like one, but it's not it. Um, the uh, shrunken, shriveled head. You're not sure what kind of creature uh, it's from. Mm-hmm. Uh, the small wooden coffer containing a withered tongue. You imagine, actually, it's a dire wolf's tongue, and you've seen it used in rituals before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's pretty much all you get. Okay. Uh, then with uh, him calling me, I'll, I'll go and join the rest of the group. Then. Okay. All right, you guys go in. You guys are going to go through that to that wall? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Totally. Okay. <laughs> totally. Now, remember, be very uh-huh. quiet. Can you guys put that altar back on the top? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want the altar. Can we uh, move the camera so that we can see that the entirety of that room? Oh. Put it at the bottom. Oh, that's the bottom. I thought that was the top. The Sorry. Is, oh, is oh, just don't catch the bottom. Maybe you're right. Sorry. Get it. Don't worry. It's it's just okay, blood. Put, I want I want a marching order going into that into that hallway, please. Sure, I'll be wow. in the front through that hall. <laughs> Are you like here, any? Yeah. 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 Here? Um, all right. So you were tick, 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 ticking away. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm sticking. This. You sticking come to, to another the front. what appears this. to be a false wall. Oh, that won't open. Right. With, okay. with driffles. Clearly, um, it must open. Why wouldn't there be a bridge here between these two spaces? Okay. So can I? Uh, I'll touch the wall again, like I did. Yeah, that one. and this one pushes open. Oh, that was easy. So you can just open that. Uh, there's no, 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 there's no, 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 Oh, sorry. You just pull out the middle thing. There's the middle thing that kind of... Oh, oh, shout out to Dwarven Forge, that's of course. That's awesome. Dwarven Forge, Dwarven Forge. Dwarven Forge and Forge and Forge. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> that was... That, that's like a 90s cartoon great. intro. <laughs> Dwarven Forge and Forge and Forge. That was great. And dinosaurs. Okay. Okay. Personally, everyone. The chanting stops as oh. you peer into this 40-foot square room. The smooth masonry walls provide excellent acoustics. Featureless stone pillars support the ceiling, and a breach in the west wall leads to a dark cave heaped with refuse. Murky water covers most of the floor, 
Stairs lead up to dry stone ledges that hug the walls. In the middle of the room, more stairs rise up to a square-shaped dais that also rises above the water. Rusty chains with shackles dangle from the ceiling directly above a stone altar mounted on the dais. The altar is carved with hideous depictions of grasping ghouls and is stained with dry blood. What do you do? How many beings are in here? Do we see any? Beings? Yeah, do we see it? No. But the chanting stopped when the door opened. I I see the altar. Do I see the altar head? No, are we through that door yet? Or no. I think yeah, you're not, we're just you just you peered in and you guys are kind of looking through and you see yeah, it. Right. Of course, you see on the far end the portcullis is closed and there's a lever to the right of it. Us, darling, I would not mind if you went in first. I'm right with you, Sterling. Shall we? Let us go. So I slowly push Driffles in, 10 foot pole, the floor. Yeah, nice. Okay, give me an investigation check Driffles? as you go through. Uh, the drift go- oh. Drift. oh. Crit success. Nice. Okay. Ooh. So that's a. Yeah. Sorry, you said investigation? Yeah. Okay, it's plus zero. So it's a 20. Okay. So you find nothing of danger or anything like I that. I see nothing. 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 So you guys are uh, in, on the other side of there. You guys are starting to go through. Um, and I need you to know where you guys head. What do you guys do? Okay. Um, I will carefully. Okay, what am I seeing? The chanting has stopped. It has. I have noticed that as well. But where was it coming from to begin with? That is my concern. What's this green? What's the green? It's probably acid, but we don't uh, Oh. So in that corner, it appears, um, as you look over there, give me a perception check. Oh. It, 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 that, that was a question in my head. It wasn't a no, question out loud. A good question. Four question. plus four, eight. Um, it seems to be some naturally formed alcove mm-hmm. and there seems to be like a pile of refuse kind of on, in the in the area it just seems like like junk and sh- muck and you pile. don't know what it is but it's just like right. a pile of refuse in this you just cave held it and peed there yeah <laughs> yeah um plant yeah. matter it's weird i want to carefully go over here okay yeah yeah and is this lever to my interest? I'm thinking it's probably. You imagine that it controls the portcullis. Yeah. Yeah. So it was locked then from the other side. Um. Yes, it was locked from the other side. You wouldn't have been able to get in. So you guys kind of found the the back end. Strange. Yeah. Perhaps you should open the portcullis and give us another exit, should we need it. Not a bad idea. Uh, I want to enter the room as well. Okay. Very good idea. I will stay behind Sterling's leg once he Uh, goes through. What was it that we had said about uh, jumping? Jumping across, it was the strength score? Is it is it thick water? Uh, Or is there a deep water? You don't know how deep it is. It's dark, brackish water. You don't know how deep it goes. I think jump, I always do this. Jump distance, I think, is your strength score and feet. Yes. And standing jump, you can do half of that. Mm-hmm. Running, Running jump. jump, you can do the full distance. Hmm. You have to have at least 10 feet for a running jump. Yeah. Sterling, you yes. want to check how deep that water is? So I poke the stick down into the yeah. water. Two feet, it goes, hits ground. Hmm. Two feet deep in that area. This part is two feet deep, but I cannot say that the whole thing will be that deep. And we do not know what is in there. Right. I have um, water skin. Yep. So I can go in water and not... No, so water skin is for drinking. It holds water. Oh, it's shite. Like a, so I thought it was like a scuba, no. scuba equipment. No. No. Oh, nice try, Mel. No, nice Ooh. try, though. Nice try. <laughs> What's asking? I don't think we should go in the water. What is that thing in the middle? Is that elephant in the room? It looks like something horrible. Can I see the blood from here? Yes. It has blood on it. It looks like a sacrifice place. Can it be destroyed? Dinner, anyone? (laughs) Sorry. Would you stop doing that? Sorry. Run. I agree with you, Sterling. Could I uh, I get a little bit of a run and jump across to here? 
Um, it depends. What's your strength score? Uh, so it's a solid eight. But I think it is running jump ten plus your strength. No, it's Double. just your strength score. Oh, it's just my strength I, score. I think it is. Yeah. What's uh, your strength score? Eight. So uh, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure yeah. jumping distance is is your strength score. Um, um, if are you trying to jump across? Why? Well, I, I, I. Well, I'm trying to figure that out. Okay. Right now. I can toss you. Ster- yeah, Sterling, throw Felfer across. Oh, wait, 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 oh! <laughs> he throws me across. Okay, I'd like you to give me a strength check. Uh, athletics. Uh, <laughs> where is he 15. throwing you across? 15, I'm throwing uh, across, across here. Oh, okay. gosh, okay. So the 15? Yep. Give me a acrobatics check to oh. see how you land this. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, sorry for the idea. Okay. Eleven. Okay, with the eleven, uh, you manage to kind of tumble, okay. and your leg hits the water. Okay, and you pull it out, and it's wet, and it was kind of creepy, but you managed to to stay on the on the ledge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 and I check myself like, oh, ah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> That was quick thinking. Is your beard okay? Uh, it is wet a little bit, but I will be fine. Uh, do you think you can reach the lever? I will. I will run to the other side. Well, be careful then. Um, okay. I will be carefully <laughs> running on the inside squares, like trying to avoid the wall. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So you make your full way around with no issue. Okay. Oh, in front okay. of the lever. And I pull the lever. Okay. Uh, it's actually in the down position, so you kind of push it up. Okay. And give me a strength check. Can you okay. reach it? <laughs> oh, I hope you can reach it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a 23. Yeah, so... And the portcullis... Quinn raises. Now the portcullis is open. Nice. What do you do? Uh, it seems it opens. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's a good way to escape if we need to. I think we probably should try to get to the middle. Look, there are stairs over here. You may not be able to see them from there. Stack, uh. go up. No. But perhaps Roan can use his fire magic and destroy the altar. Ah, good oh. good thinking. That would be a good Yes. Would you right? give me a hand across? Well you can you can shoot it from here, can't you? I don't want to tamper with, uh, tamper with it from here. I want to get a better look, find out what we're dealing with. The closer you get, the more dangerous it could be. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Can I do can I uh, identify it as magical? Give me an arcana check. Come on. Uh, 14. It doesn't appear magical from here. Okay. Um, Can you give me a hand across? I'll do what I can. What do you think? Um, hmm. Just trying to figure out how we would do this. I can toss you too. I weigh quite a bit more than the halfling. I am strong. Can you, can you perhaps help launch me as I jump? Yes. We both can. <laughs> All right, let's do that. So as he jumps, we push uh, as a launch. How about we you? each hold a shoulder, and as he runs and plants his foot on the edge, yes. we push him forward to How about you both hold his arms and launch him across? Do like you think that would work? Swing him? The old heave ho? Well, I'd prefer to run and jump myself with a little help. It's more dignified. <laughs> okay. Well, right. I care not for dignity. <laughs> okay. So give me Let's a try strength plus check. Which of us? Ah, oh, strength. Are you guys helping him across or is he just jumping? You're no. just doing a well, we're, we're helping, okay. helping him. Yeah, so... Uh, I'd add your athletics advantage. Uh, athletics. So plus four from me. Yeah. And what's your uh, athletics? Athletics, six. So, so plus ten. ten. Plus ten. It's eighteen. Yeah. So you, no problem, land on the other side with your feet. Like, well, that was Just miss Falfer. Okay. <laughs> so, and then I want to walk over here yep. to the staircase, and okay. I want to, I think it's within my range, yep. if that's yep. my so feet. you jump I want to leap across. Yep. And I want to begin to ascend the oh steps. Okay. Oh, careful. As you hit the top. You sacrifice the party. <laughs> Everybody dies. 
The chanting rises once more Whoa. as 13 dark apparitions appear on the ledges overlooking the room. Each one resembles a black robed figure holding a torch, but the torch's fire is black and seems to draw light into it. Where you'd expect to see faces, you only see voids. One must die, they chant over and over. One must die. One must die. That is where we'll end the session oh. for this evening. <laughs> oh, man. Are those dark tortures impacted do by I the get daylight? To choose? <laughs> Dr Driffles is doing daylight. Does it's that do good. anything for those torches? Oh, yeah, yeah, Driffles. Yeah, Driffles. Driffles is doing great. <laughs> be right in there. Good job, Driffles. Yeah, it seems like the yeah the light is drawing into oh, it. Oh man! All right, thank you everyone for watching again. That was episode <gasps> five. We're still in Death House. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost five we episodes will never leave. later. Wait, it's what possible. kind of house is it? It's, 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 yeah, it's called, called Death House. Four episodes of Death House. Just regular just raised ranch. Run of the mill. <laughs> run of the mill house. Victoria. Thanks everyone for watching. This will be up on the D D Twitch. Uh, sorry, YouTube as well as our YouTube this week. I'm probably gonna load it tomorrow. So uh, those of you that have missed it can watch it again there. It's also still on the D D Twitch and on podcasts, our Twitch for a little way. Yes. And we also have podcasts, by yes. the way. Podcasts. If you go to anchor.fm, is it? Uh, I think or use the anchor yep. anchor.fm app. Anchor.fm uh, slash realm smith or, or Spotify and Apple, yeah. and we're on every podcast platform. So yep. if you want to just listen on your way to work or whatever, or you're having a bath or whatever the case may be, <laughs> and then you can do that. Thanks for all the podcast listeners because we actually yes. have a lot of podcast yes. listeners. Yes. Yes. Really? Awesome. Yeah, it's been yes, great. We do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, we do. What, what was our ranking? We're wow. Well, we yeah. just started. We're at just started. We're just, just started. Out, out of hundred out of the games podcast. Yeah. Thanks I'm for stressed. all the followers and subscribers. I think we're almost at a thousand. Uh, 1,200 actually, mm -hmm. and almost at our next item. So thank you everyone for wow. your donations. If you're watching on VOD, again, if you do donate that day, it will work towards everybody getting their items uh, next game, which is a lot of fun, yeah. and we're so very thankful. Uh, again, follow us on uh, Twitch, both on the D&D &D and on the Realm Smith Twitch, as well as subscribe to us on YouTube if you enjoyed what we saw. Nolzers, we will be painting the Vistani wagons yeah! uh, this coming Sunday. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were actually really excited about that, so that is from the Adventurers camp set from WizKids um, with Vallejo paint on Sundays. We'll be doing that. And then a week from today, you will find out the awesome conclusion to the Death House, hopefully, uh, next week. So tune in for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, everyone. It sounds so final. The conclusion to the Death House. <laughs> One must die. Yeah, one must die. You guys have a wonderful week. We'll see you in a week. We'll see you on Sunday and then Monday. Have a good one, guys. Bye. One must die. One, one 